going on, everybody? Happy New Year. My guest today is podcaster and musician, Alex Patizian. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Glad to have you here, brother. Thanks for having me, brother. So I guess we'll just start off Night at the Masquerade, oh, yeah. the album you just released. Yep. How long ago? Two weeks ago? Uh, Night at Masquerade was released uh, somewhere in, I believe, November, actually. Oh, November. Yeah. No, it, it's... Uh, or was it... Oh, no, sorry. The full album was released uh, December, correct? I don't even know my own, don't even know my own album release. Uh, but uh, the song itself what, like, was released in... Uh, sorry, actually September. I'm messing up all the dates here. But yeah, no, it's... Uh, it's been a blur, though, man. It's been the a blur. The last little bit has been a blur. It's been a blur. Like, it's... Uh, I'm really happy it came. It's it's out, and I you know couldn't be you know you know more prouder and excited for what's to come. But uh, I kind of released it in a funny way, like you know it's not a huge album, but uh, you know I kind of really spread out the songs as far as releases go. So you know once this month, twice this month. So it feels like it's kind of been released, but also not. It was only till uh, mid December that I finally like got all the songs out there. So yeah, it's. Uh, so where does the where does the name come from? Night of the Masquerade. It's it's kind of funny. It's a bit. It plays into the whole story I have with my music. Um, although there's no lyrics to it. Uh, if anybody follows my creative page for the for for the album itself, it's just kind of like the name I release stuff under Rhythmatic. Um, I just kind of made a post yesterday explaining that. Uh, Initially, the songs were to have lyrics. They were going to be vocal tracks. But I ended up just scrapping that whole idea and decided to make them instrumentals. So the name, sorry, just to get back on that, is kind of um, the song Night at the Masquerade initially had lyrics and told, you know, had told the story of, uh, you know, what the song was about. So that's why I kind of named the album after the song. And the album cover kind of plays into the you know illustration of what the song's about so yeah it's the yeah so night of the masquerade it's kind of like at the bottom end of it i guess the story is it's you know a dream and you know you're spending one night at a masquerade ball hence the whole picture of the girl with the you know masquerade mask and uh yeah there's a few more secrets that i plan to share but uh Hey man, there's yeah, always yeah. time. Yeah, there's always like, exactly. You can, see, so, you can still have vocals, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe a, another version of it I'll release. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were gonna do the vocals. Yeah, I was uh, initially. It was just kind of yeah, just me doing uh, all the music for that page, and uh, or sorry for for this project, and uh, yeah, I, I you know was gonna sing it, and uh, I think initially I just didn't like the way my voice sounded on the track. Um, I feel like it needed a. I, I was envisioning a different style of singing, mm -hmm. uh, so I said, you know what, I'll just I'll make it instrumental. It still sounds pretty, still sounds pretty dope. So, uh, but I do plan to eventually release it with a version of me singing on it to actually have the lyrics and stuff. So, yeah, it's uh, and what it's under uh, rhythmatic. Yeah, so it's funny though. <laughs> the the way I kind of operate is I have like two pages at the moment or two like two routes i have my you know personal instagram page which most people are like know me for and uh most of my creative original music and any like things that i wouldn't normally post on my main page is under the band page so you get more secrets you get more inside scoops and uh you know details about the songs themselves so um yeah i plan to i plan to start posting more on that page i want to dive and become you know more aware in that side of my music but i still plan to do covers on my main page but yeah so it's under rhythmatic it's kind of just the creative quote-unquote band name i put but it is just you doing it, it is pretty just me yeah, yeah, yeah which yeah. it's funny people will notice um when they go to the page i tend to use we a lot when i make posts mm -hmm. um i never say i so it kind of i not to say like I'm tricking people but it still plays into the whole uh, theatrics and way I present myself in that creative page to differentiate myself to my solo page. So it, it all plays into the story, which people will start to realize as they continue to follow me on that page. So yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I feel like it's very uh, 
very old school approach. Yeah. yeah and like you were telling me you still listen to like CDs. Oh yeah. And stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And I just found that amazing. Like how old are you? <laughs> uh, 22. 22. You know yeah. what? I would have guessed 21. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I wasn't too far off. Yeah. Uh, but it's just surprising because I know people like in their mid 20s, maybe even like early 30s yeah. that tell me they've never bought an album ever. <laughs> Sickening. And it's crazy <laughs> to me. Like I... I can't envision that. Like, I have a uh, few records. Yeah. Like, most, oh, most nice. of my collection is CD, though, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Um, where do you get your music? Uh, where do I get like, my music? Like, phys- physical music. Where do you actually, like, oh. is there a store? Yeah, well, for a long time, uh, you know, back in the olden days, <laughs> uh, back when uh, HMV used to... St- is there still HMV around, that music store? I'm not around? sure, man. Like, okay, I haven't seen one in a long time, but for most of my, like, childhood growing up, I would go to HMV and... Uh, I just remember the days where, like, I was just that odd kid where, like, all the other kids were rushing to EB Games and stuff, uh, and I was the one kid that, you know, my mom just like, okay, have fun, and I go to HMV, and I'm just staring at all the CDs and records and, like, looking at, okay, here we go, Peter Frampton, uh, Eagles, like, like, you know, what can I get, you know, and I'm just standing there, like, I don't know what they're They used to have, like, listening stations, too? Uh, do you I don't remember know, those? Were those still they, around? I don't know. I never I never got to experience that oh. uh, when I was... I wish I did, but uh, no, when I... The HMVs never really had those. At least the ones that I used to go to. It was just kind of... And, uh, like, and like way, way back in the day, like when I was like uh, maybe 13, 14, right. early teens, mm-hmm. like you could go to... A lot of people didn't know this, but they did have the listening stations where they would have like three CDs set oh, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could listen oh, to whatever yeah. one you wanted, but then... If you just found a record that you wanted to listen to, you could bring it up to the the counter and See, they would let you amazing. listen to it. That is you know? amazing. And it's just, I remember plenty of CDs too. Just going to you know Sunrise or whatever. The oh, only yeah. one I really know of now, I think, is in Aaron Mills. Yeah, and now I was just gonna say that's the place where I usually get them now, since because I there used to be an HMV in that location at Aaron Mills, and uh, I think they replaced it with a Sunrise. I mean. I still like it. I still like Sunrise is, is really sick. And so uh, they got a lot more, you know, memorabilia of, uh, or sorry, like pop culture kind of uh, merchandise there. So it, it was just kind of a plus, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, but. I think a lot of it is, that's what's keeping a lot of these stores afloat. Yeah. You know, that's what it seemed like before HMV went down. That's what it seemed like they had, like, a lot of board games and just yeah. like, yeah. Um, you know, like, Pokemon mugs, oh, yeah. and fucking Funkos, and just <laughs> oh, whatever, oh, you yeah. know, anything. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I remember the day that I realized that the, the, the industry was changing, and I went to Best Buy mm-hmm. specifically to buy the Sting and Shaggy CD. Oh, nice. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Man. Oh. <laughs> and then they were like, oh, yeah, we don't sell CDs anymore. Like, what? <laughs> it's a what harpoon to the heart, man. Yeah, I'm man. There you. was a mall, Walmart close. So it wasn't yeah. like, I, I oh, yeah. felt like I was shit out of luck, yeah, yeah. but like, what, what do you mean? Like, I, I actually didn't believe them. I felt like I walked around a little bit, like, like, this guy's dumb. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> We're going to go talk to someone yeah, else. Yeah, like, like you know, this guy, like, it's his second day, yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, and they didn't have it, yeah. man, and it, it broke my heart. Yeah, I, 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 it was the same kind of feeling for me when, uh, you know, I guess I didn't understand when, you know, HMV was closing, uh, at least at that location. Um, and I, I, I don't know the full story. I honestly, at this point, I don't know if there are still HMVs open, but I remember the feeling that like, I went to Aaron Mills hoping to, you know, go in, pick up like another CD. Uh, and, uh, I just looked at it and it was closed. I'm like, and it's it the notice on there, like, uh, you know, closing, you know, uh, what's that thing? Like li- liquidation sale. Yeah. And I'm like, no, this is not happening. I was like, where else am I getting? I mean, okay. You got, Am- <laughs> you, you got Amazon. You could do that stuff. But I, I still liked the idea of you know, going into a store physically, like actually like touching the albums, like going through, taking your time. And I'm like, damn, that that's going to be gone. And I'm like, oh no. But then I guess Sunrise came and everything was better <laughs> for now, I guess. There's still, I feel like a lot of, there used to be one at Square One. Yeah. And they had to leave because Square, someone else, I guess, bought Square One mm-hmm. and they raised the rent and Sunrise was like, we can't, yeah, we can't, can't afford, afford that. This. So they had to leave. Yeah. I don't even really like going to square one anymore, man. Yeah, it's, um, in the summer, I, I don't mind because it's like, you know, it's, you can walk around, it's, it's tolerable and stuff, but, uh, you know, I've been a few times in the winter, it's just, it's, oh, why did I, why did I come here? <laughs> okay, let's just go to Aaron Mills, somewhere indoors, <laughs> you know? Yeah, thank for, thank God for Amazon because I feel like, <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. I feel I only got maybe one present. No, two presents. I think from the mall. Uh-huh. When normally maybe about ten years ago would be you know you'd have yeah. to go and spend some time yeah. walking around and Walk, walking and walking shit. out of the store with like uh, bags up to your elbows. It's like yeah, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> so did you do the new? Um, Cause the boys' lunch table podcast mm-hmm. just came out with season two, yes. I guess uh, a little bit ago, mm-hmm. with a new intro. Yes, was that you? Yeah. So um, it's funny, actually. Uh, not a lot of people on my solo page are aware of the boys' lunch table podcast. Actually, I don't. N- nobody pretty much knows about that. I actually, even have a podcast, to be honest. Um, and uh, I this season I plan to be one of the big reveals to uh, you know let people know. Hey. I've, I do podcasts, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, all the music uh, is done by me. And the way we kind of approach that was, you know, we're, you know, five friends. We grew up together and we just kind of, we, we all each bring something to the table, right? So like I, with my music talent, uh, my uh, buddy Daniel, who's the uh, Purple Gumball, uh, extremely a t- a talented artist. Like, uh, so he brought to life... Uh, you know, the imagery of, of the thing. So everything that you see, the... Uh, he did the animation for the intro? Uh, a- a- animation, so the new animation, uh, we actually got uh, someone else to do it. We, we hired an animator to do it. But okay. the designs of the gumballs, the, the backdrops, and pretty yeah. much the logo, uh, he he brought that all to life. And so, right. you know, so yeah. But yeah, the music, um, you know, thought of, uh, you know... That's the other thing, too, about me. I'm not... Even though rock is my favorite genre of music and I grew up with it, Mm -hmm. you know, um, you learn to adapt. And I thought, you know what, we're a a gaming podcast, we're a nerd podcast, got to have some sort of nerd element to it. So I went to the old NES kind of emulator sounds and a bit of, you know, modernity with the whole, you know, keyboard synths and boom came the the theme song for that. I've seen people make beat machines out of the NES system. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they do crazy. it. Man. It's crazy. crazy. Even, even with the uh, old Game Boys, I've seen they hook up some things with it. I forget the name of what it's called, but it's talent, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know what, how they do it. But, Definitely adds a unique thing, but yeah. it sounds good, man. Yeah, thanks, man. It sounds it's good. Just, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really fun thing to do, It's uh, and uh, we, we hopefully to keep growing it, so, yeah. Do you, do you listen to... Uh, like any other podcast? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll listen to this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, yeah, so Pillow Talk. Um, it's like funny. <laughs> Kenny introduced me. Like, because obviously uh, we met through through uh, Kenny, which yeah. uh, will is Red Gumball, if people don't know who Kenny was. <laughs> and uh, um, But, yeah, so we met. And then once, uh, you know, we got in touch together, I, you know, and he said that you have a podcast yourself i'm like no way so i started checking out it so you're one of the ones that i i uh frequently watch um and uh you know what's funny i never was a huge podcaster guy until i started doing it myself yeah you know with the guys and i i got this new appreciation for it i said you know what this is fun it's chill it's you know i get to talk about things i don't normally get to talk about and so um yeah uh, i do listen to distractible from Markiplier on YouTube. Uh, he came out with a podcast, I think, uh, early... Oh, sorry, late late last year? Whatever. I listened to him and his other buddies, but it's pretty. that's pretty much it, I think. That's like like, uh, like YouTube Gamer? Or does yeah, the, the YouTube Gamer. Too? Yeah, Mar- Markiplier. Uh, and so he, you know... You know I, I don't watch YouTube normally a lot, but I'll, you know, sometimes, like, you know, frequent his page. And uh, when, he, when I heard he came out with a podcast, you know, I already love his regular video so I'm like yeah oh, check it out so it's funny I I don't listen to now that I think about it in a lot of podcasts but the ones I do are are awesome so so yours his and uh I guess my own but yeah so so what was it that was like we should do a podcast was it just uh like it, you and your buddies just talking one day and then you guys just kind of made it happen yeah it's um in, in, it's an interesting story. Like I don't know if I asked Kenny this before. Oh yeah, all good. I the story is pretty much you know we basically all knew each other from kindergarten, like a ma- majority mm. of us. So me, uh, and so, you know we we were always that kind of uh, group in school where uh, you know <laughs> we kind of be off on the side. And this is like grade two. You know we're you know just nerding out. You know talking about video games. Oh did you did you play this game for the week and stuff? And we just talk about everything there is to do about nerd and. 
you know, we just had each other, right? So eventually, you know, high school came, that didn't change. We just got, we just continued that. And it was only till like pretty much the past year where like, you know, guys, we kind of, we talk about this stuff. We have funny conversations about all this. Why don't we just turn it into a podcast and there's other people out there that are kind of like us. So like, and would be interested in uh, nerding out with us and listening to our, you know, conversations. So we're like, from say less, let's do it. So, so that's kind of how that started. It was just pretty much like we were already comfortable talking about this stuff and enjoy it, and ultimately decided let's do a podcast about it. So, were you were you the one on the Ninja Turtles Franklin episode that was talking about Franklin? Oh yeah, was that you? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> that was a hilarious angle, dude. Like it's just. It's funny stuff. Like, if you haven't checked his podcast out or their podcast, definitely check it out. It's, it's great it's, nerdery. Thanks, man. It's, Some it's, solid laughs. That was honestly, you know how that started. It was just we couldn't, um, you know, we were trying to think of an intro and we just kind of said, you know what? Let's just go with it. Press record. See what happens. And I don't know what came out of me. I just... We were just all hyped, and it was for our debate episode, and I just blurted it out, because I, I think we were just talking about um, shows we used to watch as, like, little kids, mm. and it just, <laughs> I, I honestly, it was just one of my most random moments. I just kind of blurted it out, blurted it out, and I just always go back to that, that highlight, and I'm like, what was I talking about? It was really funny, though. Like, it was just so random and funny. It was just Franklin versus the Ninja Turtles was just messed up. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just, you know... It's, man, maybe he'll just win, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just, he's, he's, seems like a... How much do we know about Franklin's backstory? We yeah. need we need um, James Gunn to do <laughs> yeah. a dark Franklin origin story. Oh, 100%. Buddy, make it happen. Dude, yeah, come on, let's he go. He used to be a human. He's a war veteran oh. that was tested on. Oh, and yeah. Because he wanted to expose the, oh, the government and <laughs> was turned into a turtle. Bro, I'm telling you. Oh, that's that's like... that's Somebody like, make it happen. Dude, like, what I, are we doing? I say that was the perfect origin story. <laughs> I'm saying he meet, goes down and meets his uh, buddy uh, Bear and realizes they were the same mutation worked on. Like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. It's like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's, that, that, those There's some places to go with it, though. Yeah, I mean. Oh, 100%. There's, uh, you can just take it anywhere. But that's the beauty of it. It's like with this podcast, it's just our imaginations are kind of uh you know we can run run wild with it and uh we do have our you know set that we kind of go through we want to make sure that we talk about whatever the topic is but you know we're not afraid to just kind of go off stream and you know let the not like just whatever happens happens so yeah that's that's the fun with it it's like there's not really like you came here and you're like hey man sorry i'm late and i was like (laughs) bro there's no late it's (laughs) just You know, it's all good. Like, we're just working on our yeah, own time. Yeah, it's chill. all good. Just chill. And that's the kind of thing, like, there's a lot of freedom yeah. with it, and you get to just do what you want, and, yeah. like, when I was starting this out, it was, like, I had discussed a lot of it with my girlfriend, like, pretty much every step. She's basically my unaccredited PR person. Oh, nice. Like, she helps me with so much stuff. Oh, that's awesome. And, um, and more than just PR, really. Right. But, but anyways... <laughs> Like, I, I was just wondering, oh, like, do I, because I know a bunch of people mm-hmm. and comedians that do podcasts and stuff right. like that, and I just was trying to just do something I felt was, like, maybe a little different mm-hmm. from what my friends were doing, and a lot of them were doing, like, just jump cuts and just yeah. straight to the point, and there right. was no, like, dead air or just right a time when, right. you know, people weren't talking like that, mm-hmm. you know, they would just, they would easily cut that part out, oh, and yeah. it was like, I'm trying to do... Maybe a little more long form discussion, and not mm-hmm. just not just talk with comedians. Like I like yeah. I like bringing people on that are doing shit. Like I saw yeah. like your fucking sexy photos of just like your your hair <laughs> in the wind and your guitar in like the middle of like a fucking <laughs> like, field. Yeah. And I was like, this guy's fucking killing shit. Yeah. And I just I you know I oh, I enjoy man. seeing people. <laughs> fucking do what they like to do you know yeah, for real though no for no do 100 percent though thank you so much man and um sorry i i couldn't uh leave today without mentioning the guy who did the photography Aus photography is the guy who uh did it for me and uh yeah he was a, he was amazing we had a blast with like all those photos are dope oh, thanks man yeah I, I i wanted to it was kind of a promo for the whole lead up to the album so mm. i to you know go back to that but yeah no it was um it was definitely fun and i got a yeah definitely a lot of uh 
got a good comments for those photos. Just DMs were just rolling, and I'm like, okay, all right, ladies, fine. Like, yeah. ladies, yeah, yeah, some ladies, a few older ladies, like you older <laughs> ladies. I'm like, I'm like, dang, I'm like, all right, let's go. But you know, it's it's uh, it's fun. They're all like, uh, it's all pretty, it's all pretty good. But hey, man, we're living in the time where there's some, there's there's some. Hot older ladies. Hundred <laughs> percent. Don't get me wrong. There's yeah. definitely some not hot older <laughs> ladies. Uh, <laughs> but like back, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. I think I, I, we're, I think we're doing good with yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about the the plastics. I feel like a lot of it has to do with just cosmetics and things like that. Yeah, yeah. It's and, uh, uh, <laughs> it's a it's an interesting concept to go <laughs> go into. It's uh. Yeah, I'm trying to feel. I'm. I'm trying to figure out how I want to approach <laughs> yes. this. Well, just because I know a lot of people, yeah. and man, most of them don't need anything. Oh yeah, and they're just. It's like they're already attractive, and they're yeah. just insecure about like a wrinkle here or mm-hmm. like my lips are too thin. Yeah. And it's like yeah. all this stuff, and it's like right. in my mind, as soon as in this weird, weird way, I might. I might be way off here, but. Mm. To me, it seems like it's kind of, a lot of them also talk about, like, body positivity, mm-hmm. and I'm f- fully for that, yeah. like, mm-hmm. but how are you trying to get people to listen to you when you, it's like, you have your own problems, and I feel like mm-hmm. everyone has their own problems, but at the, yeah. it's like, I'd rather hear that stuff from someone who is approaching it from a healthy way rather than just trying to, like, band-aid their insecurities. True. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's... I feel like you're eliminated from preaching about body positivity. Mm-hmm. If you got like a boob job, <laughs> or you got like fucking, you get Botox injections mm-hmm. in, and it's just, it's complicated. I don't want to be it's... an asshole, but it seems like, it's like, how are you preaching bos- body positivity? Right. You know, and it's like, I'm this comedian who's been doing comedy for four years right. with like 600 fucking followers right. on Instagram <laughs> awesome. and you are, you are saying you're all about body positivity, <laughs> but you just post your boobs and your ass. And yeah, sure, they look good, but it's like, what are we, what are we doing here with your ten thousand followers? Yeah. Like, what are? Uh, it's you know what? It's, social media is weird. It's man. it's we it's, it's I was actually gonna mention that like it's 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 a tough battle because I find you know, for I mean like like for myself too like you know being surrounded by a lot larger pages those that have like thousands of followers you know to to grow it's it's a battlefield like you really gotta you really gotta push and it's a lot of hard work but um it's all that you know too the algorithm is also messed up the like i've always noticed that you know the not that like i'm not like uh, saying anything bad about YouTube or Instagram and stuff, but it is the Oh, we is, would never like, oh, say like, anything never, bad never. about that. <laughs> no, it's a delight. You know? we love YouTube and Instagram <laughs> and everything. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah, we're talking about the other guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Those, totally. those guys. Those guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, know, we, know, we know who those guys are. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, um, it's, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's a... I don't know the right way to say it, but it's, I guess... Like as a, if you're like starting out, like I know I know with us with the podcast, you know it's it's I mean we're at one fifty seven now, but uh, it's it's been a it's been a it's been a like a you know got your highs and lows, but it's funny it's really tough to grow an audience, and I feel like I was telling the guys with a podcast, um, at least we at least with us, um, the best way is just to get the word out as as like to to grow is just let as many people know and just start spreading the word basically so. I tried to do that as much as I could with my family and, uh, you know, a few of my friends. And I, I plan to definitely post it on my Instagram eventually. So, uh, yeah, I remember yeah. finding out about the podcast mm-hmm. and being like, Kenny, like <laughs> I found out from like your story and I went <laughs> to your page and I didn't know where to find your podcast. Oh, yeah. like, you need to put some shit in there and let people know, man. Like, Good old Kenny. I mean. You know, and you did that. But I, I dude, I feel like there is something with those, uh, those algorithms because yeah. like I just been trying to pay attention and see mm-hmm. what time I what times are better to post oh, certain yeah. things and stuff like that and yeah. so it's I would I would be posting at mm-hmm. these times at a yeah. you know during the weekend like three o'clock it'd be <laughs> like Wednesday and then Thursday I would try to post around the same time and it's like yeah 
I think it really truly and like I live with my girlfriend, so right. I'd be like, hey, like just go on your feed and check some shit, you know? <laughs> right. And it's, right, it right. seems like a lot of my posts with links or mm. even stories with links mm-hmm. aren't viewed mm. as much yeah, as we, like just yeah. like random. Like I posted a, a picture of me right. playing Super Mario the other right, day on right. my story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like oh, like two hundred views. I'm yeah. like. Well, I posted yeah. something about my podcast yesterday and it got like 63. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's such a struggle. I it's, had a link and this didn't, so it's the only thing I can think of. It's honestly, it, it's exactly that. Like, honestly, I was saying to uh, the guys, um, you know, we, we put our like heart and soul into every post and video that we make, right? And uh, it's funny, sometimes the posts that we don't expect to pop off do mm-hmm. and the ones that we like okay we're like we prepare for we're like we're ready post it doesn't get as much as we hope and we're like what's going on for example like sorry i i don't mean to uh, gloat at all but uh, we posted um two days ago uh an instagram reel of uh, us talking about the newest disney movie in canto and uh you know day i said uh, you know daniel uh, was the one talking about it, it was just, it's just him on that reel and two days go by, and we posted on Wednesday, and it was just, it wasn't really popping off. And then, like, this is, like, really current news. Like, this has happened last night. Mm-hmm. It reached 13.7 thousand views on on Instagram, like, in, in a span of two hours. I'm, like, we, we were just there on call. Like, like, my Daniel calls me up, and he's, like, are you seeing this? I'm, like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, and we're just looking at it going, no way. I'm like, no way. So it's really weird because all of our other reels are generally did oh, pretty well, but mm. um, it's just such a big jump and we're like, what did we do differently this yeah, time? Yeah, it's like it's things like, like that make you kind of look at it and right? try to figure it, out how... Exactly. I mean, it's, it's good all around, but I mean, it's just, it's like we, you kind of want to know how the algorithm works so you can work with it, but it's, it's just so ambiguous. You never know what's going to pop off or what really um, makes it so that it pushes your content out more, you know? Because we get that too with the stories. It's like, uh, it's, uh, I know we're still small, but, you know, it's, there's that, there's that uh, struggle as well. But, Dude. You know. And, and just for the record, like, you're like, I don't want to gloat or whatever. <laughs> Here's the thing, dude. You gotta appreciate that shit. It's that you don't <laughs> don't appreciate or don't appreciate. <laughs> I knew don't I approach it. <laughs> like appreciate it mm-hmm. and realize like this is. I don't think talking about you know uh, that stuff is yeah. is bragging. Or, yeah, true, true. You gotta appreciate all the growth and every step along the way in your yeah. journey, man. That's true. So, like, don't don't ever be... Yeah. Feel like you have I to hold back. I think it's know? like... I mean, you know, there's... <laughs> oh, there's your moments. limits. There's, yeah. you know, here, and then yeah, there's yeah. Kanye West. <laughs> Let's try to stay somewhere <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> somewhere down. But, yeah. You I know think, what I mean? I think it's my natural, awesome. like... Thanks, man. Yeah, I, I, it, is, it is pretty awesome. Like, uh, it's definitely a really good step, uh, like, to... Uh, like us making ourselves aware to people, like because we definitely want to keep this growing, and I think this was a really good uh, thing for us that happened because it's like, uh, yeah, we, we just we want to get it out as much as possible, and you know we want to get you know more subscribers, so we were like, wow, this is really great. So, um, yeah, no, it's it's I think it's just my natural uh, mechanism to kind of always be like I kind of just grew up being careful about you know i don't want to be the guy to be so you know oh look at me look at me in this i'm always like yeah. trying to be very humble and uh as much as i can it kind of sound uh <laughs> not very humble right now but <laughs> you know what i mean like, no but i feel like anyone that cares i mean has that yeah yeah it's, that's, it's that's in the, them yeah. you know and it's exactly it's something that i think you know you most people have to fight mm-hmm you yeah. don't want to get. You don't want to get your. You don't want your ego to get too big. That's the you know thing. What I mean? yeah, yeah. So I definitely, you know, appreciate where you're coming from, yeah. but uh, that's awesome, and you should be proud, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> Did you guys talk about No Way Home on the podcast yet? No, you know it's funny. We talked about it, but uh, I think we eventually will, but not yet. So, oh man. So. <laughs> Here we go. Man, we I don't go. know. I mean, it's got to be... I mean, we don't... like. I, I, this isn't like a review. Mm. I just kind of want to... 
yeah, say about. that I think a lot of people owe Andrew Garfield an apology. Okay. Really? Like, did you like, do you not like him in the movie? Oh no, I I uh, I uh, did you like him in the movie or? Buddy, I thought out of the three, I mean, he was my favorite. Like oh. he he had a lot. Of the the funnier he scenes, he was so and... good. I I didn't I didn't know any I didn't know anybody uh, hated him. I, I I thought the big thing was the fact that they were all here. You know, I was like I was freaked like the so, the second I saw him like when uh, Ned started you know you know the whole scene there mm. and he started coming through and I saw that alleyway. I'm like oh, that's, that's dead ass Andrew Garfield. I'm like that's what you go. thought. I was like I was like Venom. Oh okay, that's well, what I thought. That was my other thought because uh, the whole like. It was just so dark, and it's yeah. like okay, black suit. I'm but like, it made way I'm more like, sense for it to be him. Yeah, I uh, the, my first thought was like, because when I, I remember that sort of like I, just the way his his physical like his physique is right, his in his in the eyes too. That's what got me when I saw the eyes of the costume. I'm like, here we go, Andrew. Dude, the theater, like I I had like my hair stood up, like the whole theater just shook. That's what but, I dude. Like, Sorry to kind of no, like, no, no. just kind of. Oh, that's no, what I. No, it's my go, turn to talk. Go for it, man. Go no, for it. No, but that's what I love about going yeah. to the theaters. Yes. And I saw. I originally had plans to see it during the week. I think it was like Friday, mm. and it opened on the Friday. But there yeah. were some viewings on Thursday. Oh, you the, know? the pre screens and stuff, all that. And oh. uh, I wanted to go with my buddy Steve, so we made mm. plans for Friday because that's when he was available. And um, we couldn't go. Right. And I was like, man, I'm set. I am not staying off social media anymore. Like, I've waited years. Yeah. Like, I am not waiting anymore. Yeah, I found, yeah. like, a bootleg copy, and I oh, watched no. it real <laughs> shit. Like, every, like, 20 minutes, there would be, like, some slots fucking 30-second commercial that would pop up that was, like, 20 times louder than the movie, so it would, like, shock you out of like, well. your Worth it, though, man. Oh, yeah. So I watched dude. it all there, and I was like, I have to see this in theaters. Like, it's just, it's oh, too good. Dude, It's it's, like... Honestly, that was my struggle too. Like, I shut off Instagram. I'm like, I did not want to look at because I already almost spoiled it for myself before I went to see it. We saw it the uh, the Monday, like after the Friday it came out. So when mm. it came out Friday, we we me and the guys went to see it uh, uh, the Monday. Yeah. So, man, what a feeling! I fully agree with you. The the even with Endgame, even with that whole that whole experience of just being in there and the whole theater just. Literally, everyone was standing at a certain point. I mean, I was already freaking out, but I just kind of like took a glance next to me, and like everybody was out of their seats. Even my buddies, I didn't even notice they got up. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, like. Yeah, there's something just about that the atmosphere, yeah. and I feel like a lot of the times it's just specifically those movies. Like, I I could go see a really good fucking Jim Carrey movie, mm. and oh, love Jim no Carrey. one claps at the end or is yeah. like like that at certain yeah. parts. Like fucking Poor Jim Carrey. <laughs> I mean, I love Jim Carrey. Oh, yeah, don't get yeah, me yeah. wrong. It's just yeah. they don't get those, yeah, those reactions. I, I know what you mean. Yeah, I feel like it's it's weird. It's a different... And there were so many, like, yeah. pops in this oh, movie. Like, so gosh. many opportunities. Dude. People like, oh! Yeah. And it was just... <laughs> you know, like, Honestly. dude, like, every 10, 15 minutes, something yeah. crazy is happening. Yes. Dude, I couldn't agree more. And I was one of those people just in the theater, just screaming at the top of my lungs. Like, I was like, when I, when 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 uh, McGuire came through, like, to, Toby McGuire, I was like... I, I like, actually recorded that that nice. exact scene <laughs> in the theater. Dude, when he came through, I think I like lost my voice after that theater. I screamed so loud because like everyone else was. I'm like, this is childhood Spider-Man right here. This is like, oh my gosh, here we go. It was. But I think now, um, kind of going back to mm. to Garfield just for a second. Yeah. I think now, it people are kind of realizing that maybe it wasn't him. It was just maybe. Mm the writers or just oh. some other things. It was more of okay. the movies rather than yeah. him as Spider-Man. Right. I've heard some people s- speculating that mm. uh, Morbius and Venom yeah, could possibly I've, be in his universe. I've, so. I've heard about that. He, uh, I've heard about the whole Venom and like our, uh, sorry, who's, uh, Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy's Venom is going to be in Andrew Garfield's. Don't get me wrong. Like, first of all, Venom is my favorite, uh, I guess, Villain anti-hero in the in the Spider Verse, mm. uh, and like I was so excited to see him. But uh, I don't know. Do, how do you feel about the whole Venom and Morbius with Andrew? Like, do you pref- would you rather prefer it with Tom's, like Tom Holland's? Because I feel like it's if we're sticking with modern Spider Man, I I, I kind of feel like they should just stick with 
Tom. I have nothing against Andrew. Andrew was one of my favorite Spider-Mans. He's awesome. But I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know the direction that... Again, it's just rumored. I too. don't know. Yeah, exactly. Um, it wouldn't be... I wouldn't be against it. Yeah, yeah. But... And at the same time, I would love to see Andrew Garfield get to finish off, finish off his, like, his trilogy. Tr- yeah, that's, that's another thing. That'd be cool. And they were kind of setting up some Sinister Six. I didn't hate the Amazing Spider-Man movies. I Me didn't. Me neither. Me neither. Um, there was a good, like... There was a lot of things wrong with them, but there was there was heart in them. Yeah, I watched them like you know just before I went to see No Way Home. I kind of watched like oh, every. Oh, movie. nice! Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's per- great thing to do. Spider Man Three last, of course. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that that one, it's okay. You could just just brush it off on the side there. You know, it's I, fun, but it's just uh, it's not one of my. It could have been favorites. so much better. I think at the time, I think it might have misgaged the whole. Uh, how many villains they used at a time. Because obviously it was the first Spider-Man movie where they introduced three villains in one one setting. Even though, like, I know Venom really didn't get a whole bunch of screen time, but it was just, um, I don't know. I think they, they really pulled it off in this latest one because obviously there's, like, what is it, like, five of them or how many? Like, there's a... Uh, Doc Ock, Electro, Lizard. There's uh, the six, sin- the sin- because they were like, they were, oh yeah, I they think they were gonna set up set a Sinister up, yeah, Six spinoff yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, that that's uh, oh that's true. So, yeah, I feel like I don't know. I prefer like as far as the Tobey Maguire movies go, definitely number one and two. Like uh, William Dafoe, oh my gosh, and he killed it, man. man. Dude, he killed it in this movie. I think Still. like. I mean, I was already excited to see Doctor. And I love how they did, like, because the whole time, originally, and you're like, why did they cover up his face? Yeah, and then I he know. ends up yes. breaking the mask, and oh. you see him in, like, just the, Dude, without the mask. Oh, my it, God, it, I got chills. It was amazing. It, I like, love the fact they kind of went more towards classic Green Goblin. Yeah. The whole, like, ripped clothes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean... There's a part of me, like, don't get me wrong, like, there's nothing wrong I could say about William Defoe's. Like, first of all, his acting is what stole the show for me. Like, his, the whole, like, dual personality thing. Like, I know he, it was like that in Spider-Man, like, the, in the, when he first appeared. But, I don't know, this movie was just, he really put on a show, which was amazing. But, I always preferred, I always, there was a part of me that wished there was, like, you know, Green Goblin, like, comic days. Like, I want to see... Like legit goblin, like mm. have his face deformed and have it look like a, like a goblin, you know. But again, I can't complain. The whole this was amazing. It was fantastic. So if I did have one complaint mm. about the current run of Spider Man, and it, well, I'll get to that at the end. Yeah. But <laughs> it's that I I am a fan of and this is why I like Toby yeah. and I enjoy the uh, the uh, Garfield ones is because they're just. They're in New York. They're just New York yeah. Spider Man, yeah. friendly neighborhood Spider Man. <laughs> cliche as it is, that's right. what they that's what they're doing, you 100%. know. And they're you're in a band when he said he was in the oh. Avengers. Like my whole issue is that <laughs> there's so much going on. Like I want just Spider Man. I want Spider Man to be the star. Yeah. And I think that they're going that route. Yeah, I, yeah. It looks like like that he's um, kind of almost matured. Like as like as you like you grow up with him from like I'm talking about like Tom Holland's like from uh, Homecoming to Far From Home. It seems that like what it, they set up now looks like he's you know the the big macho. Like he's he's like now it looks like there's a potential for him to not be under the Avengers wings anymore like he's kind of grown to be well, like does anybody know who he is anymore like no one knows who he is right that's yeah how... that's that's the other that's the other issue right? that's the other issue so it's like no what now it's like it seems like they could go from that that's oh that's true actually was, you know I and Ned forgot. Ned mm. I mean somewhere down the line you gotta imagine he's gonna become Hobgoblin that I've seen so many posts and rumors about that the the concept designs that people have made like some of the yeah. artists look really sick. Like, I wouldn't yeah. be opposed to a... And I love the, don't worry, man, I'm not gonna... That's I what love feel, that whole thing. Yes! <laughs> there were so many good parts like that in the movie. Dude, it's like, it really, you know, when you think about it, it really sets up that it's a possibility he could be Hobgoblin. Like, there's little hints here and there that kind of foreshadow could, could they do it? Could, could this... Could they pull it off, you know? I mean, now that, uh... I don't know, yeah, it's just what he said was just it just stuck with me. It was just like, what do you mean by that, Ned? Come on now. <laughs> it's like... I love the... 
Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire just, you know, reassuring Garfield, like, you're amazing, man. Yeah. You're amazing. (laughs) Thank you. I needed that and all that shit. Like, I I I loved all of that. That was good. I love that part. I love also when uh, they're on the... That one of my favorite parts was, like, just before that big fight at the end with with the uh, uh, Statue of Liberty, uh, where they kind of all jump and they're like... Because there's a split second where they're like shadowing the moon yeah. and then they land I'm like if, if that's not the best part that one moment of 2021 I don't know what is <laughs> I don't know what is how could my life get more perfect at that moment it's like you know it's awesome I think um, you know in in the future this is gonna be one of those movies and I know DC has been planning it, you know the Flashpoint movie or whatever oh, yeah. they're doing with the Flash is basically going to, you know, be DC's version. Yeah. Like, for, I guess, their cinematic universe. Basically do the same thing, and I yeah. think they're just going to be... Like, this is for sure going to go down in history as one of the comic book movies that oh, changed yeah. the genre. Like, I don't know if people really see it now, but mm-hmm. the way that it's just like, well, everything doesn't matter. Bring Nicolas Cage back <laughs> as Ghost Rider. <laughs> yeah. Bring fucking... I, like... Chris Evans as fucking, <laughs> you know, uh, they, they, they fucking, re- what's his name? Help me out. The Chris Fantastic Ev- Four. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Fantastic? Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, Mr. Fantastic, yeah. Um, well, I mean, hey, they uh, they introduced Matt Murdock now in the whole... Uh, right, dude. dude Kingpin's I, in there. Oh, my gosh. So was... it's like, if those guys are in there, for sure the other people are in there because oh, yeah. there was the Defenders, no? Yeah. That makes sense to me. They really, like, honestly, I I feel bad for DC. Like, don't get me wrong, I love... I, I, like like what? like I I'm not like I like I, I'm not like I love DC right I I love like Batman and stuff but I feel like Marvel has such a stronger foundation to them like as far as like like the way they've like you know they've redone the Batman stuff don't get me wrong Batman is my all time favorite superhero yeah, like, yeah he's my number one I I love Marvel but as far as if I had to pick a superhero he's he's number one he's number one but I just. I just feel like, like there was just so much potential for DC movies, uh, that like I don't I don't know it's like if they had the director or the whole plan that Marvel had that that same energy DC like could have been at that same level you know what I mean but I don't know what do you think it's. All right. Well, I definitely have opinion on that. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love the DC movies. Just, I can't I, complain. But I like, get. You know, a lot of the stuff comes from just how well they performed at the box office. Yeah. And I get it. But to me, I mean, DC has had some missteps. I'm not going to act like it's been all breezy. But (laughs) But I enjoy... And I thought last year was... Fuck. Up in... Like, don't get me wrong. Shang-Chi was really good. Oh, yeah. yeah, But then Spider-Man just cleaning out the year. I was like, we got Zack Snyder's Justice League and... The Suicide Squad, which yeah. were both fuck for me, ten out of ten. Both. Yeah, oh, hundred percent. And so, I, I feel bad, like, cause I feel like it's they they got. Um, I mean, I don't know, like, like with the hype of Shang Chi and Spider Man, all these things with Marvel, it, it didn't like it should have got more attention than it deserved. I feel like when when uh, uh, No Way Home came out, like all focal point was on that, right? I mean, I, again, like I guess DC fans. Uh, Obviously, maybe just didn't really care as much for No Way Home, but uh, I mean, you, there was just didn't they? they yeah, didn't, I guess. You, you I guess I, I, there might be those fucking fanboys that I guess like, like are like, like fuck Marvel, but it's like, hey man, <laughs> yeah. if you're a fan of this world and you didn't like No Way Home, yeah. fucking go watch Fried Green Tomatoes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, get the fuck out of here. We don't care about your opinion. <laughs> yeah. I, for me, I'm uh, I'm I'm on. Uh, I'm getting crucified for this, but like I'm on both sides of the fan base. I like both. Um, I like I said, Batman is my favorite superhero. I love. I've watched all of the movies. My favorite, my actual comfort movie is uh, is the uh, one with. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting his name. The Jack Nicholson that that era. Of oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Keaton. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. Like, obviously, uh, like I, actually, I can't say anything bad about it. I, I really enjoyed it. I love the whole like it. It was dark and like I mean, okay, we're not talking like not as dark as the Dark Knight kind of movies, but it had this kind of 
I love the way Jack Nicholson portrayed Joker. It was just that kind of sinister cycle, but yet it was still the money hungry and most of all laughy Joker. Like the whole like comic, like you know, playing tricks on you know Michael Keaton's Batman. It's like that was. And it has come on. It has some of the best lines in that movie. You know, never mess with another man's from barb. It's like you gotta, you gotta think that if they're bringing Keaton back, and they are, mm, yeah, which I'm really excited that about. You might get Nicholson back. I really you hope so. I really you might. hope so, dude. You he might. is like okay, like I. There are so many good Jokers, and I love them all. I think I just grew up with Jack Nicholson's Joker just. Like I've watched it more. Like I think I think as far as performance goes, um, uh, thing, uh, Dark Knight. Sorry, I'm. Christian Bale. Uh, the the Joker. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger was like by far like, he put one of the best performances and really brought Joker to like a whole new level. I I I, pref- I just like Jack Nicholson's just because of uh, I like I like his portrayal of it. Hmm. Uh, he thought he did nothing wrong with Joker. His his was amazing. I just my personal yeah yeah dude, don't uh, my worry, personal you pick. You know, it's, it's all like, good, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's but, all love here. Yeah, yeah. So know? um, yeah, I'm really excited if they bring it back. If you bring it. My back, thing, and this is what I've always said, is like DC's problem has been leadership, and the mm. the main. <laughs> it might not seem like this to most people, mm. but like for me, the main difference is. Kevin Feige, mm. if that's how you say his last yeah. name, I feel like I feel like I might be saying it right. It's but, still a mystery to me. You know, it's up in the air. But that's the main difference: is DC yeah. doesn't have that one guy who's overseeing all the stuff, and yeah. DC has a lot of. I think up until maybe Iron Man, mm. DC held the comic book movie oh. genre down, and I'm a fan of like all of the stuff. Like I like Spawn, I like oh, Men yeah. in Black, I like oh. the fucking Mask, I like all these. Yes. Things. You know, like, they're they're all comic book properties. I yeah. like them all. It doesn't just have to be, you know, the main two. Yeah. But DC held it down pretty much up until the beginning of the MCU. I agree. You know, and there's argument, obviously, but I would say the, the MCU has a little bit of an edge currently. Yeah. And it is because just they've invested so much time. <laughs> mm-hmm. They have, a, for me, they have a lot... A lot of misses, but they also have a lot more movies, so there's going to be a there's, lot more misses. Yeah, there, there's a, they have um, their their army is or their arsenal is bigger, like as you know. But I mean, yeah, it's, I agree. I feel like, see, I I feel like it, the tables it, it could have been in the reverse too. It could, we could have been in an alternate reality where DC is like the state of where Marvel is, you know. It, but you're right; it all depends on the leadership, and I think that's what it it boils down to, you know? Because you can't tell me that, like, all the DC heroes are sick. All of them are. Like, like I mean, uh, like, I love all of them, and, uh, uh, or I don't know, uh, Aquaman? I mean, don't get me wrong. Any of the like, Aqua, <laughs> the water heroes? <laughs> nah. It's okay. I mean, I mean uh, Aquaman's all right. Jason Jay- Momoa's, he's, that was, a, he's all right. That was, but. I think he, the way they visually portrayed him was amazing. Mm. Like, like, but, um, yeah, I'm not, like, running to go see Aquaman or, like, stuff yeah. like that. Sorry. I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I saw it, but, like, out yeah. of, like, it's on the it's on the lower end. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's just... Oh, they have Shazam, too. I forgot about him. Shazam's yeah. dope. That was pretty I think cool. we're getting the second one next year. Like, there's a yeah. few. I think we're getting Black Adam, Batman, yes. and... Um... Is The Rock scheduled to play Black Adam? Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is that what I heard? Yeah, that's cool. So that's now we got sick. John Cena. I say we as in like, I'm fucking DC over here. Oh, yeah. We got The Rock and John Cena, baby. <laughs> no, I, dude, that's the same way we, like, I think like that's the only way to say it. You, you got to sound, sound like you own it. It's like it. your yeah, baseball yeah, team. It's yeah, like, exactly. oh, we it's fucking like, won yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah it's like, yeah. oh, we, we, we cut some losses, but you know, we're good. Yo, Batman's coming back, man. It's like... I'm really, I'm really actually um, hyped for Peacemaker. Mm, that looks that's so good. Out on... What the thirteenth or the fourteenth? Uh, I, I next saw, week. I saw a lot of the, the commercials for it. I uh, yeah. Is it next week? It's, I think it is. That's yeah. sick. That's sick. He he. I love his design. It, it looks really. It looks really cool. It's just it's something I. <laughs> if you were if you were asking me, and I'm not like you know, uh, su- like I'm not super huge on Peacemaker. Yeah, I think he's yeah. you know. Uh, I think he's cool enough for me to watch. What? Like I don't know much Class about C, him. Class B. Class B. He's not yeah. top tier character. Oh, but... No. John Cena just had a way of doing it that he's yeah. he's going to be. Yes. Like, there's no way that... He was arguably one of the best parts of Suicide Squad, oh, I think. 
Hell but there yeah. was so much. Like, I, there's hardly, like, yeah. what was bad about that? Yeah, they, uh, you know? Agreed. Yeah, it was so, they had a great cast for the, the, the latest Suicide Squad, which was, uh, yeah, like you said, it's kind of just hard to, like, John Cena really brought it, but it's like, there's there's so much that was good about that. It was movie. all, all-star cast. Yeah, it was all, exactly, yeah. all-star, that's, that's yeah. the word I was looking for. But, yeah, it's, um... I'm excited for it. Like again, like I like like I'm I'm with you on it. Like I I think he's really cool. I I there's nothing like there's no uh, opinion I could say about him. I just don't know him enough as like I I think he's cool. I just haven't really studied him as much as I do with Flash or Batman or stuff. Like he's cool enough for me to watch. You know. So, so what do you like? What's your most anticipated shit for next year? Because for me, it would be Peacemaker. And mm. then Batman. Yeah. That's what I'm holding on for, to. For me, it's Batman and... Uh... Doctor Strange? Or are we sticking with... Is it like Marvel and DC? Or we can do it? anything. Oh, okay. Honestly, the one I thing... was thinking superhero stuff. Oh, superhero stuff. you oh, wanted to branch oh, then, out. In general, honestly, the one... Uh, Doctor Strange is what I'm looking for the most, but also uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, that's that, coming out next year? I... Uh, I, I th- I think so. I, I honestly, I the fog of the rumors, man. I can't. Like, it's I, true, and things keep getting pushed. He, Morbius he was, just yeah, got put, pushed back for like the twenty fourth time. Uh, that looks really cool. Like that. That looks really. Yeah, cool. It'd be nice whole, to see it eventually. The, the thing I'm excited for is that, uh, see, Marvel has such a great history with vampires, but like with Blade and all that stuff, yeah. and that's the stuff I really enjoy. Like, don't get me wrong. It's it's. Uh, I love the superheroes, but uh, I'm, I'm huge into vampires. So yeah. like. When I heard Morbius, um, I didn't know much about him. Like I, I, I knew of his existence as a as a as a comic book character, but it was when they released the trailer that I started looking into him more and started thinking about the potential of they could bring back the like Blade. They can. I think back, they are. They can, they, they can use Morbius as an anchor for this, right? And um, Marvel also has their version of Dracula too in in their comics. And he's insane. Isn't he just called Dracula? Yeah, he's literally yeah, called yeah, yeah, Dracula, yeah. and he's insanely strong. And I'm like, this could be a great way if you're gonna bring Blade in, have him verse Dracula, man. Like that would be sick. As cliche as it is to verse, you know, I know I know Dracula's been used so many times in all other movies, but I want to see what Marvel can do with yeah his his version of Dracula. So. I like the first two Blades. Yeah, and this is what I kind of this is um, what I think Marvel is struggling with. I think right now is like now they have so many characters There's and they're so trying many. to cram so much into like not every time but most of the time trying to cram all these things into one movie and I yeah. think it's hard it's hard to do that you can't always do that they did it really well in No Way Home yeah but like uh, I don't know um, it's I agree it's good that they have a lot but it's it's kind of like they, they have a lot <laughs> you know it's like, yeah it's that the same sense. reason i don't i don't collect a lot of like um group comics mm-hmm. like in group i mean like uh, on uh, like avengers yeah. or uh yeah. justice league like i have a little bit of justice league yeah. suicide squad a few but like for me i just prefer reading like, like you the, know straight up yeah uh, I, i'm solo I'm with characters you. and stuff like that because yeah it's just you can tell more I'm within with the frame of the book, and you're you're more focused on that hero. Like you, you get yeah. more of the action. Like and, and it's focused on them. Like I'm I'm the same way. I think I only own like three issues of Spider Man. I bought them a long time ago. I read them once and then just kind of put them, <laughs> put them away. I'm not much of a. Uh, uh, I love comic books, but I have to really find the ones I like to like really get into. Have you read them. Watchmen? No, I haven't. I, I is it is it. I've heard it's really good. Yeah, I, I feel like check, you'd like it. I should check it out. I, I I think I might have like read like a like not sorry not read but like a, or, bleh, was aware of them in in my uh, college like first year of college and uh, I looked really interesting but I never just kind of went forward with like looking into them more so I should give it a shot. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely check it sick, out, man. Sick. All right, guy. <laughs> guy, buddy, guy. I just fucking watched the um, the South Park post COVID oh. shit yesterday. <laughs> yes. And my girlfriend was like, uh, when um, 
when Ike's at the airport. Oh, yeah. And she's like, why does he look like that? I was like, he's Canadian. Yeah. And then the guy's like, he's like, don't worry, I got this. I know yeah. how to speak Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's up, buddy, guy, friend? <laughs> it's so oh, good. So I don't know. It's in my fucking so mind. Good, Have you seen, you seen them, eh? Yeah, yeah. oh my gosh. I don't know why hilarious. I waited so long, but I just watched them. Nah, hilarious, no. man. Dude, it's so, it's so funny. I, I, um... I mean, uh, sorry, I don't want to go off topic, but like I watch, I watch more Simpsons, and compared to the whole tr- like the whole thing of South Park uh, and Family Guy and all that stuff, uh, I love South Park. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm probably more running towards Simpsons than I am. Oh, I love uh, Simpsons yeah, too, it's man. So good, man. It's so good. I love Simpsons too, and now <laughs> I hear they're bringing back uh, Beavis and Butthead. Yes. Oh, but they're, they're going to be doing it kind of like the post-COVID style, where it's like they're going to be older, I heard. Oh, really? They're not going to be like, the, uh, so they, like they're not going to oh, be yeah, the yeah. classic shit. Oh, shit. You didn't see this? Dude, this is amazing. This is like my favorite shirt. I got it for Christmas. Please. The first time I'm wearing it I need to know where you right got now. this shirt, man. You have to ask my girlfriend, man. You can ask her after, <laughs> but amazing. it's fucking amazing. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah so I don't know. that. Oh. I was Hopefully like, that's coming out this damn, year. Beavis and Butthead, man, classic. That's Some classic, classic shit, stuff, man. man. And it holds up, it, like, remarkably well. Like, because it's yeah. just, it's a lot, like, a lot of it's just, like, toilet humor. It's it just is. silly, it, stupid stuff. So is. there's there's nothing that dates it unless you're watching <laughs> the versions with the music videos. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like, wasn't it, uh, it was on MTV, right, when it first, uh, yeah. was it broadcasted on MTV? Yeah, that's yeah. where, uh, yeah, so it was that uh, whole grunge rock era and then you got the whole like I, I don't know I just I, for some reason I always imagine Beavis and Butthead with the whole gr- like 90s uh, when did it come out when did that show I think come out? early early 90s or maybe 90s? late 80s. yeah that's what I thought so but yeah damn I'm excited now oh let's go <laughs> yeah dude oh man oh, All what's right. this so usually I get uh, I get this like monthly subscription box okay. but gonna be honest here it's on its way. hasn't got to me yet. Okay. So I went to Walmart and I went to the international foods aisle and okay. I grabbed a couple things that didn't have English on them. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> this is awesome. You can pick one. I'll pick one. Oh, okay. I'll try them out. I can, uh, these are like gummies, I think. Okay. Yeah, man. Interesting. You know what? Let's try. Let's try this white rabbit. White rabbit. Creamy, chewy candy. Creamy candy. Oh, Interesting. Such a strong smell. Is it like, is it like, uh... It smells like, like medicine, no? That's just, it, it smells like the Flintstones vitamin chewables. <laughs> it's got some nice packaging to it. I like it. It almost reminds me of like a, a... What are those, uh... Tootsie Rolls. It's like wrapped oh, just yeah, like a Tootsie yeah. Roll. It is. I can't tell if it's plastic that's still on here or is it just the sugar coating. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna bite into this and realize it's paper. <laughs> okay, right, let's try it out. It's only one way to find out. I feel like it's. Oh man, it's really sticking on there. I think it's a paper. Oh wait, no, wait. These are really hard. Is yours really hard? It is really hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like real chewy. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's because it's a little cold in here. Mm. Okay. It's got a... I like the taste. But oh my gosh, my teeth are going to get pulled out of my jaw right now. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I can see... I can't see eating a whole bag of these. Dude, That's it, too much. It takes like an hour to just to chew this whole thing, man. But flavor is good. I don't mind that. It does taste good. <laughs> Better than these. After you're done, done trying one of those. Yeah. I don't like them, man. I have to wait like a century to I'm still chewing on this. <laughs> <Man, I'm worried. laughs> oh. You want to get into the top five? Sure, let's do it. All right. What do you want to start with? Let's do a... Uh, Let's do Canada's Wonderland rides. Oh shit! Did you go to Wonderland last year? Uh, yeah, we actually went. Um, obviously we took the precautions, you know, wear masks and everything. But we went like four times. Mm. Like me and my friends, we we go all out. It's like one of our most favorite places to go, like when the, in the summer. So yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing, man. So we we, we usually get like the uh, the uh, season pass, and we uh, or this year we went even further because we knew we were gonna go there a lot. We, mm. we did gold passes, so 
<clears throat> we went like four times in the summer and then once for Hans. What's um, what's the gold pass? Is that like fast lane? The gold pass, uh, it's pretty much gives you access to a longer period of time. So in so mm. season pass, you have the summer. Gold pass, you have access to summer, Haunt, and Winterfest. Mm. And platinum, I, th- I think it's like a... I don't know what... Um, platinum is but i think it's a longer like it's like till the next summer you have you still have access to it but i could be wrong but i'm not um well 100 so when you do uh a season pass like do you get to uh, they're like um can you do because they have the fast lane and the fast lane plus mm-hmm. can you add that to your season pass you, you can yeah uh we don't normally just because it's um uh, we don't we don't mind the waiting that much. Yeah, but it's a it's a bit of money. It's a bit of money too. Yeah. It's like you know what we still got like we still got our money's worth going like every time you know it's like just wait a bit it's and it was it was a bit it's a bit daunting like first you think that the lines are really long mm. because of like uh you know it's like well normally they are long but I guess with this year with COVID it, it was just um with the whole spacing mm-hmm. so the line actually was just half the size so it was it worked out for us so but yeah you cannot a uh, Season pass. Oh, sorry. Uh, fast lane pass, but yeah. Uh, last year was the first time I've been in nice. maybe like three or four years. Oh, really? Yeah, dude, and it was awesome. Um, and we got the fast lane plus, but we just got the one day, and for the just for the two the two tickets, the yeah. fast lane plus oh, yeah. for both of us, nice. like two hundred bucks already. Yeah, like, just, just straight out the gate, like, whatever. <laughs> it's, fine. it's worth you it. Know? <laughs> but it was cool, man. I hadn't yeah. been in a while, and I yeah, uh, wanted to go. Me and my girlfriend kind of got into it because I was like. Well, I mean, if we're going, you gotta go on the oh, rides. Oh, hundred. You know, like I don't know. I'm not riding teacups yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, like spending, I don't know what you think this is. Yeah, it's spending two hundred bucks just to ride a teacup. <laughs> yeah, like, hell, like, it's like fuck no. Yeah, and so and she actually really enjoyed it. She had more fun, I think, than she thought she was. Is so. she is she a roller coaster buff or uh... not really? I don't think so. Oh, but okay. she went on. Um, I want to say it's either the tallest or the fastest roller coaster like in the mm. world in Dubai. Holy crap. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I uh, I don't know what it is, but I, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, dang. Yeah. She, oh, how much, how I've much seen you, it. it yeah, it look, it's pretty intense. Yeah, it's scary shit. And like even going up, it's like, we are not going slow, buddy. It's, We're fucking booking it. I, I prefer I prefer <laughs> going up faster for less time to think about what's yeah. to come than having to wait and go, oh, get me off this thing. <laughs> you know? Yeah, to be real, I love roller coasters, yeah. but heights, not really my thing, dude. Yeah, I... It's I, weird. I, it's I've changed over the years. I I used to be terrified of I, like for all my life I wouldn't even go on uh, like Behemoth Leviathan like I couldn't stand it like uh, mm-hmm. it was like only after like I think the last two years that I finally went on them and I'm like oh man I love this I love this don't get me wrong I still don't like heights like I won't go on the uh, that whole wind seeker thing you know that that when it goes up and that those chairs that just yeah and you just in. sit yeah I it makes me so I did it. With my girlfriend, that was the one she wanted to go. I was oh, like, shit. "Oh yeah, sure." And I just like I'm not <laughs> looking, dude. I <laughs> cannot like if you couldn't pay me enough money to go on that ride. For me, it's, it's just I don't mind heights as long as I'm not up there for a long time. Like like if, for example, roller coasters, love them because it's that one big drop and you're mm. good, right? Sure, okay, mind you, there might be some others, but things like the Windseeker, just being up there and not really moving, it's like. No, no, I no, <laughs> you know, can't do this. So, yeah. All right, so top five Wonderland yeah. rides. Okay, uh, top five. Uh, so, I get, are we going like from five to one or what? You to can five? do whatever. Okay. It doesn't even have okay. to be in order. Okay, if you so don't this want. one's not not really in order. I love them all pretty much equally, but Behemoth uh, really was the uh, one that kind of opened me up to the joy of the big rides. Uh, Leviathan. Uh, Flight deck. I love flight deck. The the one where your feet are dangling. Yeah. That and and I just love the speed of it. I love fast roller coasters, man. And uh, for classic, uh, I've jumped between Wild Beast or Mindbuster, the wooden one. Yeah. Uh, probably Wild Beast, just because it's bigger. And the last one. Did I say Leviathan yet? Oh no, yeah. sorry. Oh, Yukon Striker. Sorry. That was yeah. Yukon Striker. Yeah, yeah. That, those are my probably my five. That's the newest one. Yeah. So yeah, awesome. I think. I tried Leviathan and Yukon Striker for the first time. <laughs> so nice. It was it was good. I'm not like I'm not afraid of them or anything. Yeah, yeah. I just hadn't been and Yeah. Uh yeah, so number one, Leviathan, number two, Behemoth for mm. me. Mm. Yukon Striker number three. All the newest ones, those yeah, are yeah. my top three. They're so good. Um Drop Zone or Drop Tower, I think it's called now. Oh yeah. Uh Vortex. 
Oh, I forgot about Vortex. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, man. I also want to give a shout out to Jet Scream, which isn't there oh, anymore. Oh, but I used to really like that. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> Jet Scream was um, was that the one with? I might be thinking of it completely different. Is that the? That's not the. Yeah, and it would go like back and yes, forth, and then it would slowly yes. go upside down. Oh, and dude, do I that kind of thing. Man, it was it was good. That's even um. What's it called? I think it's called Nightmares or something Nightmares. Oh, the one where the it's one like... that spins yeah, spin and then and it turns up. Oh, yeah. And then it turns back down. Oh, dude. I kind of like that one too, man. That's a good one. Yeah. That is a great one. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm okay with spinny rides. Like, like I'll go on teacups, but um, if it's something like... Uh, what's that one that they have? It's called the... The Cyclone. The one that has like those four arms and they bring you up and then kind of... Uh, uh, you know the I one, don't know what it's called, but I know the one you're talking it's, about. Yeah, yeah, whatever whatever that... Or, or is it Warhammer, I think it's called. But um, if I spend a lot of time... I'm not, I don't get motion sickness, but if it's like for a prolonged spinning time, I'll start to go... All right, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Like, get me <laughs> off right now. It's, it's, it's like I'm done. Yeah, usually when I go to Wonderland, I... I, I <laughs> all good, brother. I, I, whenever I go to Wonderland, I rarely go on the spinny rides, though. Like, yeah. I, I never... I just, no, that's fair. I, stra- I just go straight to, like, uh, ride, rides like the 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 Jet Screamer or, or definitely the roller coasters and uh, even the... I haven't been on the uh, drop tower drop zone for a while. I've I've done it a few times, uh, but that one's freaky. I, it's freaky. I I remember the first time I went on there. Uh, I didn't know what to expect, and my shirt just lifted up. It was dude. The whole like I had to grab my shirt. I'm not even kidding. I was like seven, like eight years old. I went on there, and I thought I was gonna lose my shirt. I'm like. Don't ask me how I it happened. I love this shirt. I fucking love this shirt. It was, like, it was a white, raggy, like, soccer <laughs> shirt. I'm like, no! <laughs> no, but for real, like, it's, uh... And I think for me, that one is so freaky because you sit at the top. It's just being at the top. Yeah. Like you said, like, when you're moving and you're going through the things yeah. fast, it's, yeah. uh, it's easier, I guess, to... You know, you're, you're in motion. You, you kind of know what's to come, right? Your adrenaline's kind of going a exactly. little bit, too. There's nothing really... What was the other one? That, the one that spins uh, around? Windseeker? The, the yeah, Windseeker. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. Not, there's, your adrenaline is not... That's, like, way more relaxing than it is... You're just left alone with your thoughts yeah. up there. It's like, nope. I also... It doesn't just help. looking at everything, <laughs> seeing exactly what's holding you. Exactly. Oh, we like, stopped. I do not feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? legit, man. Like it it's also so high too. It also doesn't help the fact that like half of these high rides, the intercom is like, well, gonna get on, and then it's like three, two, and then you're de- you're just you're just gone. It's like, it's like I don't, I don't even hear my warning. <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right, I guess we'll do guitarists. Hey, let's go. You want to start off? Specialty. Okay, here we go. Um, I have a weird pick for these five um they're not like your typical like don't get me wrong i love slash i love Jimi hendrix they're definitely in my i it's so hard when you sent me these questions i was struggling so much to figure out which one are my top five but i came up to uh my number one is Joe Satriani. Oh, um, all right. He's a, he's he's on my list. He's like oh oh seriously man. Yeah, he's on my it's so freaky because like not a lot of people. He's not number one, but he's, he's on my list. He's, dude, that's awesome. No, okay, just I'm just happy you have him on there because it's like he's a you know he's a instrumentalist. He's a virtuoso. I feel like he's not as um he doesn't get the credit he deserves like as like you know uh, but he's he's my favorite man. And then uh, I'm forgetting the order I have, but next would probably be Nuno Betancourt from Extreme. Uh, you know the guys who made that song, um, uh, it, was, it was really famous in the 90s, oh my gosh, why am I forgetting it, uh, More Than Words, do you know that, that soft, like, acoustic, there's like two guys, anyways, their, their actual other songs are like heavy as shit, which mm. is, and he's a great guitarist, uh, next is probably Randy Rhodes from Ozzy, like mm. his, 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 uh, during the, uh, uh, Blizzard of Oz tour, uh, next would be... Shoot, who did I put down? I think it was like I think I had Steve Vai on there, same kind of uh, virtuoso uh, type of guitarist, and uh, probably Tommy Thayer from Kiss, the the latest guy. But I also okay. love Ace Freely, the Ace Freely phase, and all of their. It's hard, actually. Oof. You know what? I'll go with Tommy Thayer, but I have a like it's a, neck and neck with Ace Freely. 
Uh, who's in Chicken Foot? Oh, oh man. Who's in Chicken... Uh, oh, what's his name? I know who you're talking about. Why am I blanking yeah. today? Why? <laughs> it's like, on any normal conversation, I would be able to say this out loud, and then, and then I'm just... I'm just fogging right now. It's okay. Yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about, though. He's um, sick. He is sick. Okay, so... Yeah, I was thinking... Because Joe Satriani's in, in... Isn't he in Chicken Foot? Um, he's... Uh, he, is he not? Am I thinking No, no, he's... Else? He's, uh... Uh, he's played around with a bunch of people, but he's more of like a solo artist. Like yeah, so, so no, I've seen it. I've seen yeah, a yeah. lot of his his, his yeah. performances. He played with Alice. Actually, him and Steve Vai played with Alice Cooper once. Which uh, if you ever heard that song "Feed My Frankenstein," yeah, from, uh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, Joe Satriani and Steve Vai are the two guitars in that in that song. Did Sorry. you hear about the thing he when he was uh, going to court with uh, what the fuck's the the band's name? The British band. With the guy who plays the piano. Uh, uh, is it a fruit? I don't like them. So, <laughs> oh. And it was all yellow. What's oh. that band? Oh. He was going to court with that band. Did you hear? Alice Cooper? Because they... No, Joe Satriani. Oh, Joe Satriani. What? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, because they jacked like his shit. No. Like fully, man. No it's horrible. Way. I can't remember what song it was. It's hilarious because they ended up winning winning a Grammy for that song no. when they just settled like for like a quarter million dollars with Joe Satriani in court because they no. jacked it. Oh my god! Like I didn't how know would that. they win it? This is why the Grammys mean nothing to me. Yeah, okay? it's it's a different like, beast now. It's, get out of it's, here! It's, it's it's weird. Oh man. Yeah, my guitarists are kind of all over the place, and I was really just trying to. It's not really one genre. I was just trying to kind of figure... Oh, yeah, no. Like, the ones that really stand out to me. And uh, yeah. number one is Tom Morello. Oh, dude, come on. Yes. Love him. Dude, you know? he's so talented, man. His his approach with the whole, like... He, he just takes... I, what I love about guitarists, the way that they end up on my favorites list, is that they bring something new to the, yeah. to the scene. And what he's done... Is just incredible. Like I, good choice, man. He's amazing. He's amazing. Um, I don't know how you're gonna feel about this, but my number two is Wes Borland. Oh, okay. I enjoy his. I enjoy. I'm a big Limbiscuit fan. Hey, I man, enjoy it's all his, good. Uh, he's cool. He's cool. He's just. He's the thing is, like he has a bunch of different groups, and each group, it's yeah. like he brings a different Wes Borland to the table. You know, it's that's what I appreciate. I'm, I don't like. I don't listen to them or him like crazy, but I know enough to appreciate that like everywhere he goes, he adapts to whatever like whatever music scenario he's in. Like, you know, it's he's not playing like he might play one way on this album, one way on another one. And that's what it's I like about him. He's so adaptable. So And I like I also like like um he he's very theatrical and he yeah. dresses up and he that's has, the like, other a thing look, too. And it looks Pretty much, it's always different. Like maybe you, it, it's close to what it was the night before, but he added this yeah. weird uh, shark tooth necklace, or yeah. <laughs> his face is white now, and there's lights on it, or it's just. Yeah. I love, I love that. Yeah. Um, okay, and number three. Ah man, I'm gonna say Lenny Kravitz. Oh, love him, man. Yeah. That's awesome. I think he's slept on. I think. Yeah. He's, I, He's one of those musicians that, I mean, you seem like you're one of those guys. I don't yeah. know how many instruments you play, but you put together those, those uh, things. Yeah, yeah. He does everything. He, he does. does yep. Yeah, exactly. Dude, that's, that's, yeah, he's a, uh, sweet. I, I haven't, um. I don't, I haven't heard any new I, stuff. I was recently. just going to say. Like, he seems like it's just kind of, uh. It's quiet right now. Bro. Ever since his dick popped out. Maybe he got canceled. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe he got canceled, maybe. bro. That's dude, why we haven't heard. Dude, probably. Uh, but you remember that. Dude, that was... <laughs> oh, my He's God. He's like, ah, oh, whatever, man. Like, yeah, dude, but hey, man, he's, he's just rocking it up. It's like, it's like whatever. It's like... <laughs> Fuck, I forgot about um, that. Yeah, so... Yeah. Was that number three? Number four, mm -hmm. Everlast. Oh. Number five, Joe Satrian. Yes, man, dude. Great choice, man. Great choice. Those so are kind all, of all kind of over, all over the place. Yeah, really. yeah. You know what's cool? I, 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 um, we both have kind of uh, non very like, like I would expect like you know when you say, when someone says like, oh, "What's your favorite guitarist?" Most people just say, "Oh yeah, Slash." Or don't get me wrong, Slash is is king. Yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. King. I mean, but like, it's it's great to hear sometimes when you hear like, like 
people like Joe Satriani. And it's like, oh, I, I like, I mean, for me personally, I know like I'm the only one like uh, until now that thought like you know. Uh, I don't know too many Satriani fans out there, so it's, I get excited when I hear, oh, you like Satriani? Come on, let's go. It's like, you know, so... No, I got like, interested in him or introduced to him probably in my, like, early 20s nice. by an ex-girlfriend's brother. Sweet. Yeah, because he's Beautiful. like, he's he's very much like, uh, mm-hmm. reminds me of you, you know? Oh, and thanks, you're actually dude. very probably close to, maybe he's a little older than you, but... Uh, oh, dude. Dude. Close in age, and yeah, he was just super into guitar. He's a lot of a lot of J rock and stuff Dude. like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, you know? nice. So. Nice. That's uh, awesome, though. Sick. Yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a. Uh, I was introduced to Satriani when I was like, my my dad like was one of his favorite artists. So obviously, you know, my dad introduced me to all of this stuff. So it was one of my first guitars that I listened to, and uh, I remember listening to him on like this like mp3 player it was like this green small box and i just i I would just carry it everywhere i went and i just would listen to him 24 7 had aerosmith and ozzy on that same mp3 and then storage ran out so (laughs) you know mp3 players had shit storage like 27 songs literally yeah literally i had like switch them up every night (laughs) exactly i got (laughs) offloaded okay now it was yeah what a time (laughs) All right, dude. Um, and this is a cool one. You, you, dude, this is what I, I like about you is that when I asked you a couple questions just to kind of get a feel of what yeah. I could do for top five and you sent me all these things and oh, I yeah. was like, these are so out there. Like, I love it. Like, yeah. I love that you mentioned Vincent Price. I don't oh. know him too well, so I couldn't, I didn't want to do, I oh. feel like I wouldn't do it justice if I was to oh, do a no top worries, five. Man. No worries. It's all but, good. Uh, yeah, he's like, all good. your picks were interesting. Thanks, your man. 70s funk. I was like, this this, this guy's amazing. <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks, um, man. But out of your actors, I picked John Candy because oh, yeah. I'm a big John Candy fan. Same, man. Let's go. Um, all right. I'm going to start off okay, this yeah, one. I want to hear yours. Let's go. So Home Alone is obviously, I mean, I get like, okay, it's my favorite movie of all time yeah, and yeah. he's in it. Yeah, agree. I, I gotta I, say it's number one. He I'll, doesn't have a huge role. Yeah, I still consider like, regardless if he's main role or if he's in it. Yeah. John Candy appearances. Let's go. Let's. let's and this is like actually a cool thing we were talking about being at theaters and stuff mm, like that and the yeah. reactions. So maybe two years ago. See, it's I'm losing track of time yeah. because oh, now okay. we're going into this, the third year of COVID almost. Yeah. And it's like yeah, it's think I'm just losing track of time. But yeah. a couple Christmases ago, mm. me and my girlfriend got tickets to see. Home Alone, mm. and the TSO performed all the music to the movie mm. as we watched it on a big screen. No way. It was phenomenal, dude, dude. I've always wanted to go to those kind of uh, things where, like, you Worth know, like, it. you know, when they do, like, they've done that with like Star Wars a few times or yeah, Indiana Harry Jones, Potter like Harry too. Potter. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, That's and awesome. when John Candy first came on screen, everybody was yeah. like. Woo! And my girlfriend was like, what's the big deal? And I was like, <laughs> big deal? fucking John Candy. Here's the thing. My girlfriend moved to Canada maybe like seven, eight years ago. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. So she's like, she's not really, you know, and so yeah, I'm yeah. having it too. I kind of like that, actually. So I get to introduce her Dude, to you, all these things. You live through it. You live. You get, you get the excitement again. You know, that, that's, she's that's like, beautiful. why is everyone making noise? I was like, that's fucking John, John Candy. Candy. <laughs> He's a Canadian legend. And it was just really cool that's to awesome. see after so many years. Like, he died, what, like 20 years ago? Something like yeah, that? Yeah, something like that. Late was, 90s. Uh, yeah. Somewhere in the 90s. Gone too um, soon, man. It was. Uh, I, I love him. He's yeah. He's great. But, All right. So yeah. yeah. Cool Runnings, number two, bro. Yes. I love that movie. Yes. I love so that movie. Good. Did you know, um, that the Jamaican bobsled team hmm. did not carry the bobsled over the finish line? I. In real life. Oh, did they not? Really? They didn't. Really? They didn't. I, I I know that the movie is a bit of an embellishment on like yeah. the true story. Like I know everything's not like too like the exact thing, but I did not know that. That was I, yeah. I obviously, was, it's a Hollywood yeah. kind of yeah, take on this thing. Yeah, but yeah. like, as a huge, it doesn't ruin the movie for me at no, all. No, not at all. But like when I found out, it was kind of like finding out about Santa Claus. It's like, like all right, I'm still <laughs> I'm still excited for the presents. It's just a little bummer <laughs> that you know I've been sitting on this guy's lap. You know, whatever the case is. <laughs> But yeah, Cool Runnings number two. That's awesome. Um, Uncle Buck is my yes. number three. Yes. Um, I I know it was Macaulay Culkin. I don't know who else was involved in that. Mm. But yeah, that's that. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Number four, Only the Lonely. Yes. And then number yeah. five, Canadian Bacon. Dude, great choices, yeah. man. I actually love those. I have the same. I mean, they're all pretty good. I when I went to the museum, I was like, "Oh fuck!" Like, dude, these are all like top tier John Candy films, man. I I have to say, 
I love most of most of what you have is what I have. Um, I'd say I just far as an order, my number one has to be Uncle Buck. I okay. I, I love I love Uncle Buck so yeah. much. Um, number two, um, it's kind of a. It's a shared spotlight. I love Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with Steve Martin. Like, I just... You know what? It's a comedy, but at the end... Like, I don't mean to sound sappy, but I just... It, he really puts on a show where you really feel sad for him. Like, like the way his, like, his character, like, you feel bad and all that stuff. So, I love that side of John Candy. Um, the thing about him... Sorry to interrupt Oh, no, no, not at all. Is that, like, he had a way of even... <laughs> He was just wholesome. Even That's describing leaving his kid at like a funeral. It's like there's yeah. something that was just always wholesome about him. Yeah. And that's what that's really what I think. Yeah. It's made him. I agree. I think he's he's such a well-rounded like actor that he could just do like obviously like, you know, the comedy genre is where he like like strives in. For but sure. he really but he really brings everything to the table and it's just like yeah, that's why I had to I had to put him on my list when you. He asked would still me. be making some shit, oh, some hits if he was you know. If he was around. still alive, I yeah, would for sure. no doubt he would be like like still in the, in the game for sure. Um, so Uncle Buck, Planes, Trains, and Auto- Automobiles, uh, Cool Runnings, uh, it, like they're all like a, like a hairline apart from each other. I yeah, love them all almost yeah. equally. Cool Runnings. Um, the Great Outdoors. Like, yeah, with, yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. That that was a great. I had a, I bought a. I got a DVD of Uncle Buck and the Great Outdoors just being on the same like a dual feature, oh, like like a uh, like I think like That's three dope. years ago. Yeah, DVD is still right. It's like, and um, I think the last one, Stripes, with uh, Bill oh, Murray. And, I don't know if I saw that one. It's um, I don't think he has a huge role in it. Is it like a horse racing? Movie it's like a military kind of thing. It's like oh, they're no, um, I it's been a while since I watched it, but it's like don't get me wrong, I love uh, I love Home Alone too, and it's I was debating whether I wanted to put Home Alone or Stripes on there. It's kind of like a mix, so I'll just say... He's, home, 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 he's home. not really a lead, or he's, like, yeah, he doesn't have a huge... He's probably got yeah. maybe, like, five minutes of screen time. Yeah, home, so. I mean, same with Stripes, though. Like, Stripes was... Uh, I think it was more focused on Bill Murray in that mm. movie. Uh, I, was Eddie Murphy in that movie, too? I can't... It's been a while since I've seen it. I could be wrong. But I know Bill Murray uh, was in it, and... Uh, um, yeah, he didn't have a big uh, role in it either. Uh, but he, he was still there, but yeah. It was, uh, so those are my five. It just, it's pretty sick. John Candy. John Candy, man. Rest in peace. Yeah. All right, let's do, uh, superheroes. Let's go. You, uh, you want to go? I'll go through mine quick because I do them every episode. Oh, yeah, go for it, man. Go for um, it. Batman. Mm-hmm. Red Hood. Where we're at right now, I think, <laughs> like, every, when I say Red Hood, everyone's always like, because... <laughs> You know, with Titans and all this shit, it's oh, like yeah. Red Hood's perceived a lot as a villain, but it, yeah, in actuality, in in like in comic books and yeah. his like in his history, there's only a short time period where he's not a, a anti-hero yeah, or a good guy yeah. or whatever, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's really just as soon as he's brought back, like eventually he's brought back, and well, see, then you also have like Arkham Knight, but then yeah, there's so many. It's... Anyways. Red Hood. It's a good choice, there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's kind of he's kind of like on the lines of like Venom for anti heroes. Like, like yeah. if you put him on both villains or heroes, you so, know, I feel like it's yeah. accepted. Yeah, I agreed, agreed. Uh, Arsenal is my number oh, three. Nice. I love, I love humans. Yeah, as superheroes, Dude, those are my favorite. Nice man, that's awesome. Um, Spider Man. Oh, of course. And over the last few years, I've developed a strong love for Shazam. Oh yeah. Because I was raising foster homes. Oh, okay, cool. And like, nice, I've said this before and I'll probably say it again, no, but I, 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 I didn't really that. like Shazam a lot because right. he had a lightning bolt and I was yeah. a big Flash guy. And oh, I was like, geez. yo, get out of here. We already have a lightning guy in DC <laughs> and all this shit. And I like, no, there's a bunch of lightning guys. Oh, all right. <laughs> and then I finally like learn about him and his history yeah. and I'm like, fuck, like, this is a really relatable kind that's of character awesome. to me. So Yeah, dude. I that's... also really love Ninja Turtles. Oh, pfft. You know? Dude, if I uh, they they didn't get on my top five, but if I had to add like a top ten, they would be on there. Like, Favorite they, turtle, uh, Donatello. Donatello. Donatello for me. Uh, we 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 actually posted a post on that on our on our podcast page, and I. Oh, I think I might have. I think I might have. Yeah, yeah. Were you uh, commented or something you, on that? Yeah, 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 Raph. Yeah, 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 dude. I I I don't know what it is about uh, Donnie that I just. He's one of my favorite. I, I think I love the purple mask. I just the, first of all, I know it's a kind of dumb way to pick a favorite, but I love the 
the like I purple I love purple is one of my favorite colors yeah. and and I just love the 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 staff you know the bow staff and just the you know I used to watch He's the, the smartest and, one and the smartest of them. yeah and 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 I just I grew up also watching the eighties cartoon as well like the the you know yeah man and I just loved his uh, even though it was not like totally dark and stuff I mean like it was just it was more definitely a uh, I mean the story eventually started developing into like you know, teenagers just watch this and stuff. But I, I grew up and I just loved watching Donnie fight. I'm like, let's go. I, let's... I just love the whole mechanic of the whole bow staff thing, you know, so. And I haven't read it, but, um. Mm. Oh, there's the comics, right? Yeah. yeah. And there's like, um, The Last Ronin. Mm. I don't know if it's over now or it's, they're still, they're still doing issues, but, uh, yeah. want to get into it. Do you know what that, do you know what that's about? I've heard a bit about it. I also want to get into it. Is that the one where it's like a, all of them are dead except for one. Right. Uh, which one is... Do you know who survives? Don't tell me Donnie. Is it Donnie? No, no, wait. Raph is the one that... No. Bro, it's mad surprising. But I, I, you want me to tell you? It, it, who is it? It's Michelangelo, man. Gosh, <laughs> like, <laughs> what? what? Of course it's Michelangelo. <laughs> Literally, if you were like to tell, ask me. I'd, uh, well, that's what I, that's why I was like wondering. Like Donnie would survive because he's smart. Uh, Raph, uh, he would be like tough. He would kind of fight his way through. Leonardo being the leader, like of course, Michael. I have nothing. I get. I love Michelangelo, but it's like what? <laughs> yeah, I collect a lot of comics, but nice. admittedly, I'm uh, like a bit behind just because of all this oh, shit. I haven't been to a comic yeah. store in like. Oh. You're way Over ahead of me, a year, man. bro. Yeah, dude. You know, I, I still get some things, but I yeah, get yeah. them online, and it's like, uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna read that series. I wanna know how it came it to good. that. Like how, like, uh, yeah. maybe he was just sleeping, and they were, they were all fighting, and he just didn't get killed because he wasn't around. It was just you know, <laughs> dunked out on pizza, just like, yeah, guys, where are that's y'all? it. Oh shit, it's <laughs> that's awesome, man. Um, you said you're five, right? Like you, yeah. Had, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, so for me, uh, again, Batman number one gotta be gotta be my favorite. Uh, number two, uh, probably Thor. Thor is my is my next. Um, Doctor Strange, Spider Man, and um, I guess you can consider him as an antihero, but Deadpool. I, yeah. I love I love his. First of all, his movies are amazing, and uh, yeah, I've. Uh, I haven't read a lot of his comics and stuff, but I just I just like his concept as a as a as a hero or, or anti hero in a way. So yeah, I just okay. I just like how it's not dark. Uh, sorry, I like how it's sorry total opposite. I like how it's not um, you know, care, like it, he can just like swear all he wants in the movies and it's just badass. I love I love that. You know, you don't you don't get that that kind of rough and toughness in like a in a Spider-Man movie or a thing. Like, you watch Deadpool for that reason, you know, for the gore and for the, you know, dark side of it, so... Yeah, it's funny you said Spider-Man, because I think maybe the best series that I've read with him in it Mm -hmm. is the Spider-Man Deadpool series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a significantly large run, too. It is, yeah. But it's just, uh, yeah, it's solid. Yeah. It's really, really good. If you haven't read that shit and you're a fan of both of those guys, I mean, I'd highly recommend reading that. Definitely, definitely. Let's end on video game systems. Sweet. I've been waiting for this one. All right. You go You go first. I'll go first yeah, yeah. then. <laughs> Let's okay, go. Okay, so, and this is not because I just got it for Christmas, <laughs> um, but N64 is my number one, man. I That's think crazy. as far as replay value and the amount of just... Okay, so when I got it, <laughs> I was like, all right, I got... My girlfriend got me some some solid games right out the gate, oh, so I'm pretty awesome. happy. Um, but then I was like, okay, what what games do I want? And there's like 40 that I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just, I'm so excited, more way more excited. Like, there's some good Xbox and you know oh, yeah. uh, new generation games yeah. coming out this year, but mm-hmm. I'm so more excited about collecting all these the old classic man. games, dude. Man. That's where it's at, man. It's awesome. So N sixty four is my number one. Nice. Um, nice. I don't know if you're a PlayStation or Xbox guy. I'm not. I'm not really on any side of the fence. Oh, yeah. I have an Xbox because when I got back into gaming, because mm-hmm. there was a few years where I didn't play. Oh, cool. Any games, and when I got back yeah. into it, I was just kind of getting an Xbox because that's what my friends had. Hmm. I don't know too much about the the innards, yeah. the, the mechanics, or the computer, room, all the all that kind of stuff. But mm-hmm. uh, Xbox One. I would say is my number two. Nice. 
Sega Genesis is my number three. Oh, oh. That was the the first system I ever owned. Nice. I got it with Sonic 2. Oh, beauty. And it was, oh my god. It's huge. I feel like I didn't, I got it for Christmas, and then I didn't unwrap, like I had all my other presents, mm -hmm. and I just played Sega for like two days straight without <laughs> touching my other Dude, stuff. the nostalgia I just got from the, when you said Sega Genesis, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's, that's some good stuff. Uh, NES. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have that out there too, which is sweet. Love it. Um, yeah, I think the only one, now that I am looking at it, the only system I don't have in my top five is my number five, Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm but not sure how I feel about the Super Nintendo Mini because, mm. like, I have a PlayStation Mini, a Sega Mini, and I looked into... I have NES, so I don't need that. Right. I oh, looked yeah, into yeah, the yeah. Super Nintendo, and it just doesn't have a lot of the games that I want to yeah. play, so... Yeah. And that was my that was my mistake with getting the PlayStation Mini. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying don't get it. Yeah. Because if you get it, you can buy this little USB yeah. thing that you connect and it has like every game right. from PlayStation. Oh, that's like... But actually on the Mini PlayStation, like there's two good games. Oh, really? That's yeah, it? Yeah, they don't have all the, uh, good, the classics that you'd want on there. Like there's Twisted Metal and mm. I don't know, it just... It's a I, disappointing. I feel like if you were to like if you're just wanting to get something like that, go for the go for the big thing, you know, go for go for the actual system, like because, like sure, like, you know, if you I don't know if it's for the aesthetics, but you you get the more bang for your buck when you like, you can have just all the games you want on on the actual yeah. system, you know. But the original so. PlayStation Two, shout out to that one because mm. they they eventually made it smaller. And then they made it so you could attach a screen to it. That's right. Yeah. You no, know, it was really. It was cool, that. man. It was cool. That was a, yeah. That was that was a good concept for that. System. Dreamcast wasn't that bad either, yo. <laughs> you know, like controller was a little weird. I didn't understand that. But uh, like, why am I? Why do I have a Tamagotchi? Yeah, it's a like, card? what is this? <laughs> uh, dude, that's some awesome. solid games. Yeah, man. No, I love all, dude. It's so funny you mentioned NES because that's one of my like childhood like things. I like just spent so much time playing. I uh, I guess for mine, I'd be... So number one, just because I grew up with it, like, for the majority of my life, is the Wii. Like, mm. that, that was just, like... It was the first system I ever uh, I ever really owned, and... Innovative, man. Like, yeah, it, it really... It brought the whole... Uh, was it the one that... Really, it was the one that started the whole... It was the, the whole, first one, yeah. The first one to have the motion sensor, yeah. right? Um, the Wii... Okay... Uh, kind of same thing, not because I just got it recently, but, uh, I really love the Switch. It's the, 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 the Switch. I'm I, interested in getting it. I've seen some of the games that are on there. It's, it's really great, man. Like, I've been playing Mario Kart. Like, I, I think, like, I'm hearing the music in my head when I sleep now. Like, I, I've been playing it so <laughs> much. It's, it's so funny. Uh, I, there, it's positive all, all, all around. The only, the only thing I would, like, if you're looking to get a Switch, um, just be prepared for the difference in controller size. You know, like, if you're playing with two people, it's, like, the size of, like, like, it's really small. Yeah. So if you're used to, like, controllers that are, like, you know, full hand, it's, like, this thing, you're really, you're really crunched. But, again, if you're playing it by yourself, uh, it's not an issue. It's, like, just like any other controller. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, uh, we Switch. Uh, next would probably be um, GameCube. As you, as you can tell, I'm kind of all... I'm a huge Nintendo I guy. I dig it, man. I love Nintendo. <laughs> I, mean, I have three Nintendo dude, online. Dude, I'm a huge... Like, and... What was it? Uh, GameCube, because I just love... Uh, I grew up with... Uh, me and my cousins grew up with Double Dash and uh, Mario Strikers, and we, we play that there so was a good, much. What was it? Uh, was it Super Smash Melee? Was that oh, GameCube? Oh, yes. Dude, that was GameCube. Yeah. One of the oh, greatest Smashes out there, man. Like, I mean, now that the, the Smash Ultimate came out it's kind of brings everything to the table i haven't played that but yet. it's it's really good but i mean i guess for a nostalgia aspect and yeah melee was a, was one of the reasons that i i picked uh gamecube underrated system yeah and i must say best controller i think oh, today most and, comfortable controller ever and you know why i think it's also the best is because switch has an adapter for gamecube controllers but not for Wii. Like, you can't connect a Wii controller. Mm. So, it just goes to show that, like, people really love the GameCube controller. And it's, so, it's such a staple in gaming that, like, the fact that this modern system would have compatibility and still allow players to use the GameCube controller, right? It's so comfortable, too. The whole... Mm. It just fits... It just fits right, you know? Um, NES would be... Like, NES, to, to be honest, would be the top because... I remember just going to my grandmother's house and my uncle had an NES. And this is like me and my brother, like like really young age. 
we would play like all night Mega Man on that system, <laughs> and we we would crush Mega Man. We would crush Mario Bros. Three, which is like one of my favorite games. Mario of all Bros. Time. Three, I love Dude, that. Game. That is my all time favorite Mario game of like it's it's amazing. And then last would be uh, probably the DS. Like uh, it's, okay, like and don't get me wrong. I grew up with the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, the first Xbox. I played the shit out of Fusion Frenzy, man. And yeah, uh, dude. Like it was um, uh, Super Monkey Ball. Like oh my gosh, that that stuff. Um, but yeah, I think as far as top five for me, they're all the Nintendo systems. Okay, yeah. see, I was gonna actually ask you, and then you named your last one a portable. What yeah. was your favorite Switch? I guess you could say is the it's, Switch Lite is a fit all portable. They're, right? they're, even the Switch, like it's the difference between the Lite and the main one is that like. The light is just its main thing. It's portable and you can have it, you know, you can't hook it up to a TV. At mm. least with the main switch, you can HDMI that shit and put it, you know, like either play it on the go, play it with friends or play it on the big screen. So that's what it's, it's, it's that's a good thing. So, shit. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, before we get out of here, yeah. I'll bust out some of these cards. <laughs> All right. We'll do a couple each. Dude. I read one to you, you read one to me. You can still answer the ones you read to me or whatever. Alright, cool, cool. You know. I'm excited. I saw I, I remember you, I remember we did this with uh, Kenny and Kalichi when they were on, and I was just so excited. If you don't like them, don't read them. Just put them in there. I oh, can okay. use them for future. But here's the thing. I'm I have another game. I'm just waiting to kind of go through these cards hey, all and then good. I'm gonna do all it. All good, so. man. All good. Alright, this is a funny one. Okay. Have you ever masturbated at a friend's house? <laughs> No. <laughs> not at all. No, if you're still friends with them. And yes, if you're not friends with them anymore. I was going to say... I would never say I, yes and someone I, I, I know is going to watch this. I was like, going to... It's like, oh, yeah, by the way... No, no, but I haven't. Uh, it's so funny. Why would you even be friends... Like, it was just like, why would you be friends with them still after doing that? It's like, you know... Should I, should I pick... Should yeah, I pick? yeah, go ahead. I mean, it's like, yeah, I love these questions. Okay. You own a sex toy. Yeah, but the thing is, like, okay, so I used to work for a company, and <laughs> at the Christmas party, they would give out these, like, awards. And they were just, like, stupid awards. It'd be, like, Ken, like Kenny, ask Kenny. Like, oh, he okay. got, I think he got, um, like, some aprons and some shower caps <laughs> on the Christmas party. And, like, he, I don't think he was legal age. He wasn't drunk, but oh, I was yeah, for yeah. sure drunk. And I won an award, and he won one, and I was like, oh, dude, these are so sweet. They're just two shower caps. <laughs> And so I put the shower cap on, and I was just going around the party the rest of the night with the shower cap. That's awesome. I don't know what we what he won the award for that, but That's I won funny. this um, this ball gag oh, for yeah, being yeah. like the loudest person oh. in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, so I have it, but I've never yeah. used it. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's like a. What about you? Uh, no, no, no. no. I'm I'm like, dude. I'm like. No. <laughs> it's weird how there's like still this stigma about guys using anything but their hand when women <laughs> use so many other things other than their hand. It's, it's it's weird. I feel like you know? it's it's a uh, we, we don't we don't we don't have that many options, I guess. You know like <laughs> like Alec uses a flashlight, he's a fucking creep. <laughs> but fucking Sarah uses a cucumber and it's okay. It's what the fuck? Uh, for the record, I don't own that, but No, <laughs> no, I'm just saying hypothetically. I know. <laughs> no, no, sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. No, there. Dude, I'm I just freaking saying, love like... it. That's fucking awesome. I love it. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. Oh dude, that's awesome. No. <laughs> uh, is that here? Is that Mar uh, Marv on your hand? Yeah. You didn't notice? <laughs> oh, just... Dude. Yeah. I freaking love it. Yeah, dude, man. what the heck? Let's go. Yeah. All right. I'm picking this one. Go for it. Whatever it is. Boom. <laughs> okay, this is a weird one. Would you sleep with an insanely attractive person who had their limbs removed at the elbows and knees? Okay, so let's, let's, hmm. let's start off here, okay? Who is your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush. Mm. I think I actually now that I'm doing this, I'm getting like deja vu. I feel like I did that this with uh, uh, yeah, Kenny yeah, and yeah. them. And oh, oh damn it! I'm just trying to think. I um, it's like, would you throw crawl through a sewer to get? To I know, I saw that. Yeah, that's. What <laughs> I was, was actually yeah. laughing watching yeah, that one. That. Um, oh my gosh, celebrity crush. Uh, I I love uh, Evangeline Lilly. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. She yeah. like I, when I. In Hobbit, like she's so pretty. I, I didn't even. She's in Hobbit. Yeah, she's a uh, Tauriel. She's one of the elves. I haven't uh, seen. I've seen Lord of the Rings. I haven't yeah. seen any. Oh of the no, Hobbit she, she's yet. in the Hobbit. She's uh So she's um just kind of new character. She introduced. Uh, sorry, new character they introduced. 
Uh, but yeah, no, she's. Uh, I always, I always found her really pretty, like especially in Lost as well. I was just about to say yeah, that's Lost. why, that's where yeah, I yeah. kind of developed my crush for her. Yeah, like, she was. Yeah, Lost. she was, and she looks totally different in the Hobbit. Like she has full on red hair. Like yeah. they, they, and they gave her. Uh, uh, oh no, they. She, she's always had blue eyes. I was thinking maybe they put contacts in for this one, but. Uh, All right. Yeah. So, Evang- Evangeline Lily. Oh no. How do you say her name properly? Yeah. Anyway, I, I think it's Evangeline so, Lily. Okay. So she has no arms past the elbow, no oh, legs no. past the knee. <sighs> yeah, I, I think I think it's not to sound super weird. Like honestly, I really don't know the exact answer to this question. But yeah. like for me, it's it's more of like the person. Like you know, no matter what, it's like if they're like if they're if if I like let's say like I've been dating them. Yeah. Like, I, I'm in a relationship. Okay. You know, and, like, you really love them and yeah. stuff. Like, it's, it's like... Uh, this Are you of... saying you're in a relationship with them and you, you really care and love about, love them? Yeah. And then they lose those parts? Or, like, I, you I, mean... I, I guess. They I, have already lost those parts and then you start developing... Because for me, like, when I'm thinking about it, like, and I, as I'm about to blurt it out, I'm yeah. like, is this shallow? I don't know. But, um, uh, <laughs> judge me if you will. That like there's there would be something that because I think a lot of the time uh, n- the initial attraction is what gets two people together. Yeah. And then from that, it's like other things develop, and then it becomes bigger, and it's more. It's not it's, really it's, about the looks. It's more than. But yeah, it's those it's that more... initial attraction that sparks something. Yeah. And I think that I might not. Like, if I was with somebody and they lost, like my girlfriend, yeah, yeah, yeah. she got into an accident, whatever, I would still absolutely be yeah, with her. I fucking course. love her yeah. to death and I care about her mm-hmm. and I would help her through anything. But mm-hmm. I couldn't see going out of my, even, even like Evangeline Lily. Yeah. I hope we're saying her name right. Yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah. No, I think, yeah, I think it is. I okay. Think, yeah, um, yeah I, I, I couldn't see getting really? with them. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, no, I, I am. Um, weird. I'm kind of like, I don't know, it's weird. I'm like. Like you, you said, like they're like super attractive, like like and they're I I for me it it doesn't even matter about that. Like I I don't know this sounds so like like cliche uh, like to say, but like for me or, or sappy, but like for me it's more about the person. Like if it like no matter like if if I connect with them like internally, right? Yeah. Like like doesn't even like it it the the physicalities for me like the like the physical aspect is always second. You know, okay. it's like, it's like, I, it's, yeah, so it's, it's as sad as it sounds, like, I, I, as far as, like, you know, being in a relationship or even, you know, sex or whatever, uh, it's, it's about how I connect with them and, like, in like, who they are inside, yeah, more, you know, so it's, no, there's nothing yeah, wrong with yeah, that, yeah, that's good, so, yeah, man, that's, that's good, a, man, I love these, oh, should I go for one? Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> let's do this, I love no, it. No, I was just thinking about how shitty of a person I am now. No, dude, no, dude, no. <laughs> dude it's Way all- to paint me like an <laughs> asshole, buddy, all right. <laughs> Put you on the <laughs> No, man, all good, all good. What's this one? Um... Oh, let me just see the next one, just because it's, okay, it's, man, it's just, because it's just... Hmm. Okay, I like this one more just because it's just kind of funny. All right. Would you rather eat a live fish out of a pet store aquarium than listen to polka music 24 hours a day for a month? <laughs> uh, like, what kind of fish? What if it was like a goldfish? I'm talking like gulp. I don't have to chew it or anything like that. I guess, it. I guess yeah, I guess it doesn't yeah. really spit us. Yeah, specify. We can just go, yeah, just... Well, if it was a big ass, like I'm talking. No, like, no, like like we're talking like I'd say let's let's set some parameters here. Like, it's small. It's like a pet fish kind yeah. of thing. Uh, no, not poisonous. Like you won't die. Just like okay, maybe you can get real sick from eating it. But like, uh, we're not talking like poison fish kind of whatever. It's just like you can swallow it, shit them out later or yeah. whatever it is. Uh, but like middle of the day, like just people walking around, would you would you just like. Grab it out, have a good lunch, and then, uh, or listen to polka music for like. Yeah, uh, yeah. I most likely, unless if the fish was bite size, yeah. I would do the fish. Yeah. If it was like something I'd have to like chew through, like yeah. fucking penguin and Batman Returns. <laughs> Love that. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I'd probably do the polka. Polka yeah. music isn't horrible. Oh no, I'd still probably you know. Yeah, I I'd probably go the same thing. Like I have like such a, like. Not a weak stomach, but, like, I couldn't imagine myself not throwing up as soon as I, like, 
even like put it in t- to my mouth mm-hmm. that I, I would just like already throw up. So I think like honestly, I love all kinds of music. So polka music doesn't sound so bad, <laughs> you know. But then again, twenty four hours a day for a month. Yeah, it's pretty low volume. Just have it in the background. Why not? I, c- I could live. I could live with that. I could live with. I'm pretty that. sure that's like some like torture technique. <laughs> <They're Guantanamo laughs> just <Bay> shit. <laughs> Just we got the polka music. Just dropped you the fucking chair like, okay, now you're gonna listen to polka music. Fuck me, eh? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I love I like this, man. Alright, let's do one more each. And, like, All right. and boom. All right. I don't like these ones, man. No, I don't like that one. <laughs> this is why I had to get a new game. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I saw the cover of that one. Hey. Okay. okay. This, okay. Is, this is decent. Nice. Would you rather be rich in the year 1800 than poor today? Hmm. That's, so, okay. That's interesting. So, you're rich in the 1800s and you're, you're, how poor are we talking? Like, 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 like the total opposites. You're like an absolute rich, like Scrooge McDuck kind of thing in the 1800s. And you're kind of like. Yeah, let's go to the extremes. Extremes. Yeah. I'd rather be so like people rich. would wor- worship you probably in the eighteen hundreds. Like here, peasants. Yeah, I. Sorry if I sound like a absolute prick, but I'd probably go with the rich thing in the eighteen hundreds. Like, mind you, the eighteen hundreds has had its difficulties as well. Like, there's like, um, you're just kind of, you're just kind of like this figure. You know, you're just kind of like, like a king almost in mm. a way, right? I mean, not that I'm doing it because of that, but I don't know, just kind of. I don't know. Uh, then again, though, like, I... Absolutely poor today. Like, I mean... I wouldn't... I mean, maybe, like, depressed or something, but I don't know. <laughs> Let me just say, I've like, been poor today. Right. And I, I'm gonna go with rich and... Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I think I think it's, uh... Plus, I'd like to see what... Try it out. What, what money I... What, what can I do with the money in 1800, you know? Am I going back in time, though? <laughs> oh. Or am I... You know? You mean, oh, so you're like, you're born in the 800s or you go back in time. Yeah, maybe it's like, yeah, you're you're playing God. There's no, there's no like, yeah. going back in time. You're just like, starting from somewhere. Yeah. And you uh, get to decide where you start from. Either way, I think it would still be, uh... 1800s? It's still 1800s, yeah. yeah. It would be, be pretty, pretty, pretty slick. Let me see. Let's, um... Ah, it's not only a... It's a it's yeah, don't worry, man. I don't blame you. Some of them aren't the best. Oh, let's see. They're they're really funny though. I love them. No, it's wasn't one with really a. Uh... Okay, okay. I'll go. I'll go with a raunchy one. I'll, uh, here we All go. Right. Okay. Have you ever had sex in the back of a car? Yes. All right. And funniest shit. Um. <laughs> I don't know if I told this story. I may. I fucking. <laughs> I talk too much. That's at the end of the day what the issue is. I don't know if I talked about it on here, but I'll, I'll yeah. So I was dating um, this girl. We were maybe in our early 20s and she had a roommate who was a, like a guy and mm. he fucking, he was like older. I think he was like a family friend and she was just renting a mm. room from him and he heard us having sex and he's like, hey, like, you know, obviously just, just be a little quieter or blah, blah, blah. And she was like, I can't, I can't be quiet. Like, you know, and so... We ended up, like, when we were fooling around one night, we ended up, uh, she lived in, like, a complex, mm. a condo complex, and we went around and legitimately found, uh, a van. But just found that it, was like, open, a... and we went in the, not the very back, but, you know, it was like, I don't know exactly what kind of van it was, I okay, okay. if I said the brand or whatever, but, <laughs> you know, the two front seats, and then the middle, and then it had the, you know, the back full, oh, full yeah, back seat, yeah, I know so we were in the about. middle. And she, like, had, like, a leg on each of the front seats, and <laughs> we were just doing it in some stranger's van. So, yeah. <laughs> was it, like, an abandoned van, or, like, was it No, just, so like... in someone's driveway, dude. Bro! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say legendary, Holy. but I'm like, what? <laughs> it was risky, you know? <laughs> Bro, imagine this guy just coming out and just seeing his, like, It would have been horrible. They're for sure the van was moving. Like, there's no... Dude. We're inside the van, so obviously we don't know what it sounds like outside, but yeah. there's no way it wasn't, like... Yeah, yeah, just like you have just, to have heard something. That's, oh my gosh, man! That's actually that's actually yeah. awesome. Yeah, my, that's my, my story. My answer is uh, quick. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's uh, I don't even drive. I don't have a car. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm safe from these questions. 
Yeah, dude, I guess uh, we'll get out of here. You can let the people know where to get at you. Cool, awesome. Yeah, so um, uh, you can find me on Instagram at uh, official Alec Patizian, and uh, that's where I do my most of my solo stuff. Uh, you can also follow my creative page um, at official rhythmatic. Uh, it, it's also linked in my main page if you go there. And also to be sure to check out my podcast at the Boys Lunch Table podcast on YouTube. You can also find us in uh, on Instagram as well. And uh, we'd really appreciate if uh, got the word out. And yeah, I think you'd really like it. Check it out just to hear my nerd side. You know, most people, like I said before, know me for my music, but big nerd on the other side so. hey man yeah. podcast seems like it's growing it's yeah. doing good yeah. i enjoy listening to it thanks man check it out if you haven't and definitely check out his album night at the masquerade like always podcast brought to you by neon light district hit them up use code pillow talk to save 10 percent, and by the great north apparel hit them up use code pillow talk to save 30 percent. and see you in two weeks guys peace the fuck out